we are live on Facebook. So hi everyone, for me and Sharon. Uh, so last week you had lovely Vera um, doing these astrology signs with me. And uh, this week we've got Sharon. So it's nice, it's, um, it just adds a little bit, doesn't it, to, to the reading. So yeah, so send lots of love to Sharon, please. Because you do do readings, don't you, Sharon? You do one-to-one yes. -one readings now? Yep, professionally, yeah. So if you did want a reading with Sharon, she'll put her details down in the um, description and so will I. Um, and then if uh, if you want um, a full reading, then you can you can go get one. So um, just want to ask. So Sharon, you've had a good good day. You've been out for lunch today. Yes. Yeah. Went out with a friend. Went out in this heat. That's. Yeah. So you're are you near um are you anywhere near Greg? Where about I'm on the east coast, but not anywhere near. <coughs> no, about a thousand miles north. All right, nine hundred miles. Please, nine hundred miles. Oh my god, you don't realize how big America is. I'm in England. It's like we can literally drive from one end of England to the other side of England in a day. I used to live Just right one day. A couple towns over from them. I lived in uh, Charlotte County, Florida, for 24 years, which is yes. just a county or two below where, where Greg is. And my brother is in Sarasota, so been been in, yeah. been there many times. So I've only seen it when he does that um, video where he he walks about, um, and you can be and he's showing you all the restaurants and things and. Yeah, which is lovely. I've been on that beach one time, I think, that particular beach. Yeah. Did you feel the sand? It's been Did so long the... ago that I don't remember. <clears throat> but yeah, I was on. I leave. see Lee. Your sound keeps going on and off. I don't know why. That's because of the internet service. So that's probably going to happen it, for some reason on Sundays. Um, yeah. I just think because there's so many people home using using the, the streaming. Yeah. Bit, and I'm way out in the country. Well, never mind. I can still understand what you're saying. Just what I mean, it might be one word that's really quiet and you can kind of, you can guess it. So, so that's fine. Just making a quick drink. Um, sorry I'm late, it's my fault. Um, I need to cut my hair. It's getting in my eyes, my, my fringe. Um, yeah, I was in a lot of pain, I still am. So I will ask for some healing. If anybody can send some, that would be amazing. Because it's... It's up to about a level eight, I'd say, right now. No, I'd say seven. Seven. Yeah. About ten. Yes. So how long have you been doing your professional readings? I obviously know. I'm asking this for the other people. Out there. Um, see, I about since since September, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, I'm sorry. You can do mediumship as well. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it comes in. I can't seem to do it at will, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I do. Depends. Yeah. Um, but yes, I met lovely Allison a, a year ago this month. Can't believe it's been a year already. Yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm going to lean across to get my my sugar thing. Has it been that long? Wow. 
So what is it, May? Yeah, of course I started teaching, didn't I, for you guys about then, wasn't it? Started doing, because Greg introduced me to Zoom when I first, the first, the first night that I met him, um, I did a reading for him and I said that I wanted to do more online bits and pieces and he said, and he said, what about Zoom? So he then proceeded in showing me how to do Zoom and it was from then that I then started doing that. So, yeah, I'm just making I'm a drink. Your classes, it was the first time I'd ever seen Zoom. Is it? Yeah. Once you get it, you get it, don't you? But right in the beginning, I don't know what was happening, but everything kept going wrong <laughs> when I was trying to when I was trying to get in touch with people and, you know, I thought I've done it all, done it all right now, I haven't. Or, or they <laughs> didn't know, what, whatever it was. So, it is what it is. <clears throat> so, what's yeah. happening this week? Sorry? Sorry. I was saying hi to the people in the chat. I see Lee, Debbie and Vera. I was just saying hi. Oh, David. Oh, <clears throat> good to see. So you said there's going to be a lunar eclipse to, to this week. I think it's the 26th, but I'm not positive. And my my um, I'm watching I'm watching this live on my phone, and it's really behind, almost maybe a minute. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna yeah. refresh and see. It usually is a bit, I must say. Oh, so yeah, Debbie, hello, Debbie, Lee, Mira, Antonia, hello everybody, and Di, hello, it's, yes, it's the 26th, Di's just said. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah. and it's a lunar eclipse, um, it's supposed to be a very important lunar eclipse, um, depending on where it falls in your chart, uh, it's, it'll signify certain things coming to an end so that new things can begin. Yeah. I'm going to have to get some scissors onto my hair at the moment. It's, you know, it just <laughs> bit, little bits keep falling on my face. Very I decided to let mine grow. Um, Put your fringe, yeah? Because, uh, but it, see, that's really hard for me. It gets down to about here and it starts driving me insane. And I always end up cutting it again, but. What about getting one of those Alice band things? Um, let me see, I've got one here. I usually use one when I'm doing my hair. Oh, the little headband, the little elastic headband? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got a few of those actually that I use for when I'm in the shower and not washing my hair on those days I don't wash it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, it gets to a certain length and it drives me insane. So I end up cutting it, but I'm, I'm it's personal, ready. It? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to stop dealing with bangs. My hair grows so fast. So if I can just let it get past that annoying point, I'll be good. <laughs> I as well, I, d I just want, I've always had the same haircut. I've always had the same. And I'd like to see what I look like without a fringe whether it would suit or not. Mm -hmm. but it would suit you. Hmm. I don't know. I've never had it. I've never been able to. I've always had it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do it together and then <laughs> we'll be able to support each other. When it's like, well, I'm going to cut it off. It's like, no, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you can keep yeah. going. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> another couple of days, another couple of days, and it will just be that bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for it. <laughs> okay. Get to use my new desk. This is the first time I've well, I thought, second time. I thought that. I thought that you, because you usually sat on your on your chair, aren't you? So. This is nice that you've got a nice table in front of you. 
it's a nice desk and in this little glass piece on the side here lets me put my computer my laptop up there so that's at a perfect yeah. height because i don't have a, a desk chair yet i'm using a dining room chair so that'll get to me after a little while but for now it's good <laughs> good good <clears throat> Yeah, I like it. I've got a big table in front of me, but it's here all the time. It, I never take it away. It's like I've got a work desk in, in my living room, which is yeah. probably odd for everybody else, but it suits me. So sometimes yeah. you have to work around yourself. If you live on your own, <laughs> you live on your own, don't you? Do what you yeah, like. really. Um, probably Greg will have his own station somewhere <laughs> when we live together. So, okay. Um, so we're going to do this. Um, I'm just going to um, start off with the raffle uh, just quickly. So obviously uh, in a minute, we're going to start with the um, with the astrology. OK, um, but mm -hmm. for now, so the raffle uh, going to go through the main prizes for the raffle. You will have this is a larger raffle than I do usually. Um, so there's more numbers, uh, but that is because we're going to have two main prizes so not just one and we're going to have two um mystery gift prizes so yeah two and two okay so these are the main prizes i'm going to show you so obviously the first person um that i pull the ticket out for will have the first choice um and then obviously the second one will have the the second choice okay um and the rest of what will be left will probably go into uh, my shop that I'm starting up. So I've been busy making things and um, getting organized with that. Um, in fact, there's just one thing on my website at the moment. <laughs> I've uh, um, Greg helped me do that <clears throat> last night to add it on there to show me how to do it. <clears throat> so um, there's just these turquoise coasters on there at the moment. So <laughs> that's all I've got. I've still got this darn cold. Just won't go. Thanks to my granddaughter. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, um, so these are the first prizes. Okay. So you would have a choice between um, this lovely crystal ball with the beautiful stand. So it's like a Diamante uh, stand. Okay. Obviously the crystal ball. Okay, so that's one of the prizes. And then you've got um, the Labradorite. The Labradorite has got lots of different, if it's cut in different areas, um, it will be either light or darker in colour. This is obviously cut in the lighter. Um, but you can, if I hold it up, you can see the glittery bits in it. You can see, can you see the, the bits? bit difficult because I know you've got my my ring light there in it but um yeah so that's labradorite crystal ball so you've got those or you will have a choice of the gilded tarot okay gilded tarot is very beautiful it's by um Cairo Marchetti um let me show you just some of them So that's the full. I think that's justice. That's it. I'll let you go full screen. So. And that's the three of cups, I believe. It's the swords. The, is it the eight of swords? Yep. Eight of swords. Five of pentacles. So you can see there. Five of Wands. So you can see they're really pretty. Um, they're really pretty cards. Um, so I I recommend those as a first deck. They're very good first deck. Um, they're very good additional deck as well. So um, so that's th three of the main prizes. And then you have you've heard of the Feng Shui. Um, Hiksu bracelets for good fortune um, and what I've done is I've redone them because when you buy these 
they come with these beads and they say they're black obsidian, but they're not, they're just beads, okay? Um, so what I've done is I, I opened it all up and I've added uh, more gold to it. So I've added more gold and I've also added um, the black obsidian, proper black obsidian beads, okay? So you've got those in it as well. Um, and they are fully blessed as well. So these ones, they do, you wear the Piksu facing outwards um, on your wrist. So it has to be facing outwards. This brings you good fortune. Don't put it face in the mirror. If you take it off, don't put it face in the mirror. Oh, you got one? Yep, that's it. So they work, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's the one I won from you. Yeah, they really work. Um, and uh, the other things are you don't sleep with it and you don't have it in the same room as where you sleep. Okay, you make sure that that is, um, I've only just found out these things, these extra things. <laughs> so, so yeah, these, these are, um, and you just, um, it's like you've got to treat it as your pet, but treat it as something that works for you. Does that make sense? So it's like, if you want something, you ask it and it will go get it. Okay, so this is the one that you will get basically, or similar, because I've got lots of different sizes of these. I've got like a small, medium and large at the moment um, because I realize that not everybody's got the same wrist size. Do you see what I mean? So, it, you know, you need it for what you need it for. And then I've done also a necklace, the Feng Shui necklace. Okay, so that's also got black obsidian on it as well. Okay, so it's the, the bracelet or the necklace, the cards or the two crystal balls. So uh, like I said, there's, there's uh, two prizes, uh, two main prizes, um, and then there's two mystery gifts. So is there anybody who would like any uh, raffle tickets? This is what I've got left, the numbers. if you can see all of those numbers properly. Okay, these are pounds um, if you're UK or they are $2 if outside of the UK. So um, who did I just see? Oh, so Deb, you would like one? Would you like me to pick a number for you or do you want to Pick your own. What would you like? And Di, the same question. What would you like? Yeah. So you've got number two, three, six, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 20, 25, 26, 27. Four numbers. So I pick. Okay. So Elaine has picked a number, so I'll put that down for you, Elaine. So Elaine, I've got you down for 16 for you, Elaine. <laughs> uh, Vera, you are on the phone. One, two, four, five. You've got five places on that. So Di nice. said- Random in the middle of the four. bunch. Okay. So Di said, who said first? Di, give me four numbers. Okay, Di? Okay. Di, I'm going to pick number three. Uh, number 33. Number 43 and 46. Is that all right? That's for Di. And then I've done Elaine's, number 16. Yep. And then, um, so Deb wants three numbers you want me to pick. Deb, yeah? 
in Pamela Gardner wants five. So three numbers for Debs. 25. <clears throat> Deb, because there's two Debbies, isn't there? So I'll make sure I'll put the whole name in. So Deb, this is Deb Treadway. You've got number 25, number 35. And number 45. Is that all right? And, and Debbie, Debbie Willis wants five. Okay, let me get another pen. So Debbie Willis, number six, Debbie. That's strange. I don't see that comment anywhere. Yeah, sometimes they don't show up all of the comments, honestly. You're going to pick and choose yeah. which one you see? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it now. For some reason, I'm having number to refresh one to see them all. Number 38, uh, Debbie Willis. So you've got number six. Number 38, 56. Number 60. And one more. Um, 54. There you go. It's five. Okay, so the payment um, is guiding angels. Angels. This is very difficult typing it on this tiny screen here. <laughs> At at bt this is paypal internet dot com paypal and then or there is the website sidekick Halley dot net okay can you pick five for pam and we'll pay together yeah of course oh i didn't see cheryl's before that so let me do cheryl's as well um so cheryl you want a couple of numbers do you want me to just pick them okay so is it just Pam? I'll put Debbie's Pam, <laughs> just in case I get mixed up, okay? Okay, let's do Debbie's. Okay, so we do Pam 26. Numbers five, um, 51, 58, uh, two more, isn't it? 36. Um, what she got 58, 51, 26, 36, and 41. Okay, 
there's the five and Cheryl would like two, wasn't it? Couple of numbers. Okay. So Cheryl, two. Cheryl, I've got you down for number 12 and number 32. Is that okay? There you go. I think that's up to date, isn't it, Sharon? Is that all of them? I think um, so. Yeah, I think Cheryl, I have to refresh mine because it's... Yep. Cheryl looks like the last one that was asked. Yeah. There you go. So um, we'll probably just come on once more um, after this and then I can pull the ticket. Um, because there's one, two, three, also oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four. So that can be done. It doesn't have to be exact, but um, yeah. So thank you, everyone. Okay, excuse me, my nose. <laughs> Grandkids, don't you love them? Don't you? <laughs> I lucked out. I went and saw my granddaughter uh, over Mother's Day weekend and didn't get anything. <laughs> so any, any kind oh, of that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's that's good. Usually I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bless them. Um this is normal though, do you know what I mean? There's nothing <laughs> abnormal about getting a cold. Of course, they're just, yeah. So um, so your nose has been running, is it Cheryl? Yeah, there's just the normal colds this time of year with the changeover weather. Yeah. Okay, so um, the things that are going on at the moment is I'm still doing my Monday classes. So if anybody would like to join in uh, with psychic development, um, a lot of the lovely readers are now out there doing it professionally. Um, it's nice, it's, it's a nice group, isn't it, Sharon? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, beautiful group. Lots of laughter, lots of, um, but we still knuckle down and get on with the, the work as well. So it's a mixture. So it's a social gathering too, so. So yeah, um, so if anybody wants to join in with that, it's 7.30 p.m. Um, UK time, which is 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. Um, and it's on for about three hours. So it finishes about 10.30 uh, p.m. UK time. So um, there's a dog on your bed, <laughs> It's like, oh, I just made myself at home here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, so... Um, you, yeah, you're welcome to come along and join in. It's five pounds, which works at about seven dollars, um, and you can pay using the the normal. Um, so it's PayPal, Guiding Angels at BT Internet, or through the website. Okay, so you can do either of those. Um, the other things I do is a lot of Saturdays I do a workshop. Um, I need to know what workshops you guys want me to do. So I keep putting um, some of the adverts out there. So um, if you add your name to any of the workshops and as soon as I get enough names, then I will run that workshop. Okay, so you can just let me know. Um, the workshops on Saturdays, um, 5 p.m. UK time to 11 p.m. I'm not sure, since I've changed the times, I'm not sure it suits everybody. And this is the trouble. It's like if I suit, if I swing it so it suits more the UK lot, that it doesn't suit the others. Just so it's really tricky to please both. Maybe I've just got to do perhaps one Saturday that suits one, and then. But I mean, my my face to face workshops will start soon. So if anybody does want to learn the tarot, I'll be running a tarot face to face one. If you're in the Herne Bay, uh, Kent area, I'll be starting those up 
uh, very soon. So um, add your name to those. Um, Sundays, Sundays we usually do um, kind of readings or we have guest teachers, that sort of thing. Um, so sometimes it's myself doing readings, sometimes it's um, other people. I like, it's nice to have different readers and it's nice for those readers um, to get out there. And that's why I thought uh, from last week, um, I kind of dropped Vera in it. I, I was like, just landed it on her instantly while I was live. <laughs> I said, I said, Vera, do you wanna, do you wanna come in? And you know, her face was a picture. So uh, anyway, she, <laughs> she said yes. And I thought, well, that went really well. So I thought, why don't I do that every week, you know, and just have a different lovely person. I think Gabby, lovely Gabby said she can do the 13th of June. Haven't got anybody still for the 6th of June, um, but I might ask the English lot, see if there's anybody there who fancies doing this with me. Um, so I'll ask the English readers. Yeah, so um, that's kind of it. Having problems finding the link to pay. Um, Um, I put it in the, in the chat. Um, let me see if I can copy. I can't I can't copy and paste it right now. Um, Vera, I love you. <laughs> Would you be able to put it in the chat again for me? That would be absolutely brilliant. I think I can, I think I got it too here. Yeah, because I just I tried to copy it and it said pin post or delete it. It didn't actually give me a. There, it let me, it's in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, so. Um, and it's guidingangels at btinternet.com. Okay, that's the PayPal one. Okay, so you can either pay by the website or by PayPal. Um, so we're going to get started. Um, oh, just to let you know that Greg uh, Prescott in 5D has still got the t shirt, the ladies' t shirts, uh, still at uh, $10 each. Um, so the slim fit ones. So if you wanted to make the most of that um, until they're gone, um, there's a sale on there. Um, so pop to in5d.net um, to grab yours. Um, I've got a Patreon page now, uh, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. So if you wanted to join me um, for that, thank you, Sharon, for joining. I really do appreciate that. So, yeah, so um, if anybody can, lovely. Um, it's little as $1.11. So I'm going to do a monthly kind of meetup where we can have a chat and uh, you can ask questions, psychic development questions or other questions. Um, and we can, you know, get together and that sort of thing. Um, on some of the tiers, I give away mystery gifts. gifts so uh, you get sent a little gift once a month. Um, on other tiers, you get um, a monthly reading. So each month you get sent a reading, um, obviously, plus the mystery gift and uh, the monthly meetup. So um, have a little look and see what's going on there. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it, really. And obviously, Greg's got his uh, patreon.com forward slash in 5D. OK, so what uh, birth signs are out there? at the moment. So we'll start off with the earth signs. But if they're um so what are your what are your signs out there? I know that Vera is Aries. You're Leo, aren't you? Sharon. I'm Leo. Uh, Cheryl is a Taurus. Had a birthday. Um Taurus. Elaine is a Leo. Oh, so that's more fire signs there. Um, I don't know the others. I'm not sure what, what their signs are. 
So let us know your birth sign so we know what order we're going to do these in. Let us know. So, because there's three fire signs, so we perhaps start with fire signs then. Someone said Aries. Yeah, uh, Deb, Debbie right. Wills, uh, Willis is an Aries. Um, Deb oh. Treadway is an Aries. And Lee is a Scorpio. Yeah. Lots of Aries out there. Lots of Aries and Leos. So, so I think we'll start with the fire signs then. Okay. So that's what we'll start with. Now, would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Up to you. Up to me. <laughs> what would you prefer? Perhaps you go first. You go first. Yeah. So we're doing air. Uh, oh, we're doing Leo first. Okay. Do Leo first. Yeah. Okay. Got this little gnat flying around me and it's driving me crazy. So if you guys see me doing this, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing that with my friends. <laughs> and we're going to look a bit, a bit silly. Leo. I'm just going to um, mute myself um, just so that it can be on you. Okay. All right. All right, Leo. Um, so for the beginning of the week, uh, we have the crumbling. Um, this kind of likens to the tower card. Um, and it says, what are you clinging on to? Uh, what I'm feeling, uh, because the, the, um, the full moon eclipse is coming up this week is uh, signifies endings. Uh, I, I believe something is, depending on where it falls in your chart, um, I'm not too versed on astrology, but I know a little bit. Um, so depending on where the new, uh, the uh, full moon falls in your chart, uh, there may be some sort of ending there for you. Um, but in the middle, if you notice in the middle of this card, is a beautiful field of flowers. So it, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be a devastating crumbling, I don't think. And at least I hope not, because I'm Leo as well. <laughs> um, so I feel like it's 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 a crumbling of the old. The old is falling away, and uh, something new and beautiful is coming in. Something colorful and and something fragrant, something beautiful. Uh, so just leave some room at the beginning of the week for that. Um, the middle of the week, we've got some anxiety going on. And um, this, this may be for those of us Leos that find it hard to let things go. I happen to be one of them. <laughs> I'm very nostalgic. Um, so I do have a hard time myself letting things go. But um, the card number is 18, which comes out to a nine. And that is the ending. That's endings. So you're being asked to let something go. And, and you know, don't, if, if you're feeling anxiety about it, just feel it let it flow and then let let it go All right and then the end of the week we've got um summer bask in joy and light so that says it all the end of the week is going to wrap up beautifully i believe once once um you let go of what it is in your life that needs to be let go of it just could be a concept it could be a belief it could be you know it could be something more but um it could be something bigger, I should say. Uh, for some people, it might be. Some people, it might be something as big as a job or a relationship, or you know, or it might be as you know small as a belief, which seems small. But you know, once you release that belief, your whole world can change. So that would be it. it sounds like it's going to be a little bit rough uh, to start out and end up beautifully. Uh, my cards seem to match that, so. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes. I'll okay. put myself on mute. 
So this is for Leos, okay, uh, from me. Okay, so um, there's the most sarcastic card in the deck you've got here to start the week, Leos. And this is get on with it. <laughs> it's very, very blunt. Um, it's basically saying stop procrastinating. It's not helping you. Um, and if you don't do something, the universe will shake your tree and make it make it happen uh, because it's there's a lot of ripeness around you. There's a lot of a ready feeling where everything is ready to go. OK, and this this can be um, linking to um, for some people, it will be linking to their kind of work situation, their ambitions. For other people, it could be that you've always wanted to try a certain hobby. Uh, for others, it could be that you want to kind of, um, I know, join a um, join a site or do something to do with love life. Uh, whatever it is, um, it's saying get on with it. Okay, something that's been nagging you and nagging you. They are indicating that these are your wishes. These are things that you've asked for. So you've asked the universe for this. So it shouldn't come as a shock. Um, it, it should be things that you already know. Um, there has been a dissecting energy with this where you've been dissecting and trying to make this decision. Um, but like they said, it's come that decision time is now. Moving on to the middle of the week for Leos, um, we've got the, um, the card that says I'm sparking off new beginnings. I'm sparking off um, something to, um, to get my teeth into. So obviously you've taken the, um, you've taken the hint <laughs> in the beginning of the week because by the middle of the week, I'm actually seeing progress. I'm actually seeing that things are starting to move forward. Um, there is a, a character around you that you're going to find is feeling quite sensitive and they're feeling um, as if you're not giving them enough attention. Um, this attention will start to feel like, um, you know, what, you know, you'll, you'll be saying, what do you want from me? What else can I do to make you feel happier? You know, I perhaps need... Uh, support as well. What about me? What about my needs? We've got a feeling also of putting a smile on your face and pretending everything's okay because not wanting anybody else to know um, how you're feeling or what's going on deep inside you. So this kind of feeling of, um, you know, it's like, uh, you know, when they say fake it till you make it, that's kind of what you're going to be feeling um, around this certain person, um, trying to remain happy, but feeling the pressure of them wanting more from you or wanting an answer from you or wanting something from you. And it's like, you know, I, I'm only human, um, you know, maybe they're expecting too much. Okay, so by the end of the week, um, there's a feeling of letting go, uh, walking away from something that is actually going to make you feel so much better. Uh, so much easier, a lot lighter. Um, this lighter energy will be linking around money matters, financial matters. So this could be that you have decided to walk away from a job that you don't want to do, um, a project that you, you, you're not in, excited about. Um, it's all about doing things now that you want to do rather than things that you have to do. Um, or it's getting to the point where you know that you've got to make choices and decisions so that you can actually feel happier on a day-to-day -day basis um, and to be free, okay? To be free um, to live your life the way you want to live it. Um, so it's also about standing your ground and not backing down and saying, I've given you my decision. I've given you my choice. I'm not going to change my mind. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I want to say about Leo's this next week. So this is for the 20, Monday, the 24th of May through to the 30th of May. Okay. So <clears throat> it was quite similar, wasn't it? I had to jump up and go feed the dogs real quick. So I missed part of it, but I'll definitely go back and rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're now going to do um, Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius. So I've got 
Sagittarius moon. Yes. So I don't have any Sagittarius in my well, my south node is Sagittarius, my north node is Gemini. So that's it. Yeah. Hello, Mary Jane. Okay, so I'm going to mute myself while you do yours. Okay, so everybody, this is for Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, so at the beginning of the week, we've got uh, the mirror, and it says, who or what is triggering you? Okay, um, so I feel like the, the beginning of the week, you're going to have, um, you're going to have some things coming up. Um, and, and again, we have the um, full moon lunar eclipse at the beginning of the week, too. So that's signifies endings. Um, so there, there may be a pattern that you have. Um, that of, of certain things triggering you that you're going to be reflecting upon. Um, that you may be mirrored in certain relationships, someone showing you something that you, you know, need to work on, um, or maybe something you have been working on and that you have um, finally released or in the process of releasing. Um, that's what I'm feeling from that uh, for the beginning of the week. The middle of the week, we have purpose master teacher and um i'm feeling here that in, and and it, it's also number 38 which equals 11 so that's a master number and to me this is signifying a, a new path um choosing a, a a certain path or a certain uh, way to go in your life um I kind of feel it's something new um, and, and I feel like it's going to be divinely inspired. Uh, it's going to be something that's really going to um, set you on fire, kind of, you know, really, really get you going and excited. And at the end of the week, we've got the eagle and it's C from a higher perspective. All right. So I, I'm feeling like at the end of the week, um, a situation or maybe a culmination of what transpires during the week um, is going to have you looking at um, your life or your life circumstances from a higher perspective. And that can only be a good thing, um, especially, you know, if you try to see things from a different angles, always, it, you know, it, it's always giving you a, a higher perspective just from the simple act of trying to see things from a different perspective. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to wrap up your week, just um, asking you to, to look at something from a higher perspective or that you're just automatically going to do that after the events transpire for you during the week. Lovely. Okay. All right. So thank you, Sharon. Um, Okay, so I'm seeing the beginning of the week for Sagittarius. Lots of, um, for some of you, I'm seeing building work. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be um, quite a, well, there, there seems to be, um, I'm seeing kind of, you know, when there's brick dust, I know that sounds odd, but it just feels as if there's stuff being done outside or inside the house where you live. Okay, because I'm seeing, uh, it being chaos and needing to get everything straight and needing to get everything organized and, and everything else and not being able to because everything is still in, in a state of not being fixed or, or sorted out. Um, now, obviously, that's not going to apply to everybody. Um, so in other people, that could be that you're needing to get organized in your home. Um, that everything seems to be all over the place and you're wanting to get kind of um, sorted out. Um, you know, so this can be, um, you know, going through cupboards and drawers and things like that. Um, it can be that sort of thing. Uh, but it's all to do with improvements of the home. Um, I'm seeing a celebration of love 
okay around. So this will be a lot of happiness, a lot of feelings of kind of light energy, okay? Um, it's where there's a, an important love life situation around. Um, okay, that they're saying that um, there, some people will be saying there's a, you know, happy birthday, congratulations, well done. Um, some sort of good news coming up here um, around this time. Okay, so this is not necessarily you, this can be people around you, um, but I'm hearing the kind of the celebration energy. Okay, the middle of uh, this next week, um, bear in mind the week, we didn't say it, but it's Monday the 24th to the 30th of, of May. Um, so this is for the following week. Um, so there's a new job, something to do with a new job, new work, new responsibilities, um, new project, something that you're going to be starting up. Um, it feels as if it's going to start off being secretive, meaning that you might not tell too many people what you're doing. Um, and then it might be out there. It might, you know, you might then decide, actually, it's going well, perhaps I'll tell people. Okay, it is a challenge for you. So it will be something that will push your boundaries, will push you outside of your safety zone. Um, you know, your limitations, um, but you will enjoy um, what you're doing, okay, even though it's a bit stressful. <laughs> okay, so towards the end of the week, uh, end of the week for Sagittarius, we've got a big, big clear out again. Um, so the clear out I saw to do with the house was more organized. It was more um, kind of like um, structured but there was um, like building work outside as well, outside or inside, and I saw bricks kind of like, you know when the walls either been knocking, been knocked down or there's a wall being built or something knocked down and built, something like that I saw. Um, but the end of the end of this week, it feels as though um, that there's always a common theme that runs, okay, when I'm doing these readings. And um, we'll just see, but it seems as if this uh, common theme is all about, if you don't start to do what you've promised to do, um, then the universe will come along and shake, shake you uh, to make sure that you do start it. Okay, so this is about you being on your life path. This is about you getting on with it. Something's been nagging you to do it. And you've been saying, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and it's do it tomorrow. And what happens then is the universe brings you, um, it brings you that kind of sense of, I can't wait anymore. It's got to be done now. I've got to make that decision now. It's got to be done. So there's a strong feeling here of, you know, get on with it. Okay. Um, which is, what I got in the Leos, okay? But I, in the Leos, I think I got that in the beginning of the week. So for you guys, it's the um, end of the week. The two pentacles, I'm seeing some sort of training, learning, education, and sorting out uh, things to do with education. It's racing forward on your journey of life and it's decisions about where you go, whether you go in this direction or this direction, whether or not you're supposed to be going in this direction, but you kind of get a little bit distracted by something shiny and sparkly over here um, and it's like no I've got to stay on I've got to stay on my target okay but you don't know that the universe is not kind of bringing stuff up so that you um, are supposed to kind of come off what you usually do maybe the universe is trying to tell you something so you know look out for those little signs uh, at the end of the week look out for those um, look out for those little niggles that tell you that, you know, maybe there's a better life for you. Uh, maybe there's something just around the corner um, that leads you to an exciting pathway. Um, so that's what I see for Sagittarius. Okay, let's read some of the comments. I've seen the comments coming up here. So what have we got? Uh, Deb? Oh, have we got another one? Have we got more spammers? Yes, we have. We always get about two, I will say. We haven't seen that one. Yeah. yeah. 
It's like Deb messaged me for a private reading. Oh. Look, it's always the same. It happens every single time. It's like, I don't mind, you know, I'm the first one. Oh, I see, I'm yeah, the, um, yeah, that. I'm the first one to, to, to say, you know, I want to enhance other people's um, ability to get out there. I'm the first one to do it, but not with people I don't know. No. Well, these people <laughs> with these kind of names, um, they they are the ones. Um, they're 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 scammers. Yeah. Um, usually. Sometimes yeah. they might even be like bots, not necessarily just to annoy. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. It just happens. I don't get annoyed about it. It's just, you know, delete. There'll probably be another one on. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Okay, so we're now doing Aries. Aries. Yes, trolls. Mary Jane says trolls, yes. Yeah, they are trolls, yes. Okay. So um, this is for Aries, everybody. This is for our Vera out there. Um, was there another Aries as well? Someone I else? think there was Deb and and Guy, maybe. Yeah. Well, two other people that were Aries. Okay, these are for you then. Enjoy. I'll be back in a moment. Hi, Aries. So for the first of the week, um, and I'll mention again that uh, the first of the week we're having a lunar eclipse full moon, a, a lunar eclipse on the full moon. And your card actually is showing the full moon. It says leap. This is uh, likened to the full card. And it's telling you, uh, you go first and the universe will catch you. So there's something uh, that you've been thinking about doing or, you know, that you've um, been wanting to do or have this desire to do, and you're, you're being guided to go ahead and, and take that leap. Um, now is the right time because um, the full moon lunar eclipse <clears throat> brings in endings. Um, so, you know, you, you're going to be letting something go. There's something going to be... Um, falling away from your you know in your depending on where it falls in your chart so go ahead and take that leap towards what it is that you've been wanting to do the next card we have is the thinking woman okay and um i feel like you're going to be studying something there's there's going to be something in the middle of the week um bringing you the opportunity to um, study something uh, that could either enhance your career or um, just further your knowledge on something that you're interested in. Um, I see the butterfly in there. And to me, that's always transformation. Um, and also the 47 equals uh, four and seven is, uh, is 11, which is a master number. So whatever this is that you have the opportunity to study, um, feeling that's also take that leap and, and go ahead and, and dive into it. Okay. And then at the end of the week, we have the, the Druid, or the space. Okay, so um, I'm feeling that your, your week is going to be pretty jam packed with, you know, the, the new, whatever it is that you're going to be um, going into, and the study and um, I'm feeling at the end of the week, it's, you know, you're being asked to take it, to slow down, take it slow, absorb what you've learned, um, and just kind of give yourself some time in nature, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> give yourself some time in nature, pamper yourself, and just, you know, maybe spend some time, extra time meditating, or just, you know, relaxing, sitting in nature, um, but yes, hold the space, and that wraps up your week. I have for Aries. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, what decks of cards are you using, Sharon? Just for 
Rebecca Campbell, isn't it? Rebecca Campbell, what you like. I've got the energy oracle. Lovely. And I've got uh, ask your guides. And then the other one is angels and ancestors. Nice. Lovely. I'm using the Cosmic Deck by Norbert Loesch and uh, the Light Seer's Tarot as well. Light Seer's Tarot, I want to get that eventually. <laughs> it's very pretty. Okay, right, so um, this is for Aries for me. So um, we've got, you know, the cards just keep coming out, which is all to do with get on with it. Um, so... <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, here we go again, nagging again. Um, so for everybody, it's like times, uh, times moving so quickly that everything is, is on fast pace. And with this fast pace, it's like um, life is, um, it's like there's no time for you to dawdle about when you know what your spiritual pathway is. OK, it doesn't mean to say that, you know, give up your job now and run away with yourself, you know, um, do a Shirley Valentine or something like that. Um, it can be that you, you know, you just need to kind of do something in your spare time um, that excites you as a person, um, you know, and that excites your, your inner child and says to your inner child, you know, let's have a play, let's do this. Um, let's get on with um, with our life path or at least get ourselves familiar with it um, so that then the life path becomes then um, a reality of your life, you know, more and more. Okay, so the beginning of the week, um, there's a lot of spending I'm seeing. Um, you're going to be having a bit of a spend, a spend up. Um, I'm seeing that sometimes in life when one of our pathways forward seems to be trapped or seems to be blocked in some way, um, we start to kind of get that feeling of, um, well, as I, as I can't do that, I'll do this instead. Um, and so that is what the decision will be, I feel, um, that you know, you're just gonna kind of, um, maybe there's a break in, in your busy life uh, and maybe this is so that you can actually join up and do what it is that you're supposed to be doing. So if there is this niggly feeling, you know, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but this is basically what they're saying. Maybe it is to do with this uh, lunar eclipse um, that is coming on, on around the 26th. Um, I'm sounding as if I know exactly what it is, and, and I've been told by Sharon, so, <laughs> and also Di, in the chat has also confirmed it. So, you know, it seems right to me, you know, the lunar eclipse and the changes uh, does indicate kind of, you know, uh, changes of direction and pathway um, going on to where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. So that's why there's a common theme running through, I would say. Um, we've got a perfectionist energy. So everything's got to be done to the best of your ability. Now, this is either you nagging yourself or it's someone else nagging you, okay? Either way, it's in your reality around the beginning of the week, having to get things done right, having to make sure that everything is done by the book. Um, there seems to be a character who's feeling a little bit lost, okay? Um, or you might be feeling lost and there's a need for, um, you know, pampering, um, getting together with, um, with this person, you know, or if it is to do with you, then, then it's all about your inner child and doing something that makes you happy, that pleases you, uh, so that you can feel more aligned with yourself. To the middle of the week, um, again, I'm seeing a lot of spending. Um, so this spending in the middle of the week, the beginning of the week might be something that you're spending out on um, that is nice. By the middle of the week, it's something you've got to spend out on. Now, in the past, the universe knew 
that I was going to have a big bill coming in and they'd give me the money. They give me, oh, it's, it's like, oh, I've got extra money. That's great. I overpaid on that one and I've got the money in my bank. Oh, I'm going to go and treat myself. So um, that's kind of what I did. And then the next day after I'd spent the money, it's like um, there's this other bill come in that I wasn't expecting to the exact amount of what I'd just been given extra. And it's like, oh, no. You know, so it's sometimes the universe gives us the money uh, that we need and not necessarily the extra. Uh, so whenever you do any affirmations uh, for the things that you need in your life, always ask for more, always ask for, you know, and don't feel guilty. You know, we've always felt guilty about money. Um, it's, it's stuck in us. I mean, I am guilty of it as well. It's like, oh, I don't want to charge too much. It's like I've been doing my shop. Um, and Greg has been saying, that's too cheap, Ali. You know, you can't do that. You can't do. So it's, it's true. It's true. Sometimes we don't value ourselves enough. Uh, so there's going to be something that comes up around the middle of the week um, that is linking to having to spend money and feeling as if there's a battle with it. Maybe you don't want to spend this money. Maybe this kind of particular bill is something that you shouldn't have to spend out on. Um, there is a feeling here of um, it being on your shoulders and it shouldn't be. Uh, so maybe this bill should be linked with another person. Uh, maybe it's not just yours. So uh, there could be an issue brewing up there. Towards the end of the week, there's endings and beginnings. And this is linking with travel plans, um, vehicles going forward, okay, making plans. But it feels as if these plans are it's like I've started these plans and now I've got to stop them or there's a pause or there's a I've got to wait now you know there's been a delay or that sort of thing um this isn't obviously something that we want but um there is a bigger plan going on and it will be fine in the end and that's the message uh, so sometimes it's like if you feel as if you've been let down um at the end of the week about travel plans um then look out for reasons as to why um, it is better not to go then, but it is better to go at a later date. Um, but that may only be able to be seen after you've kind of calmed down. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that, Aries. Um, but uh, that's what I see for you. OK. So, so now we're going to go on to um, what's the other birth signs we've got out there? Just so that we know, I think we've got Lee, who's a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So Mary Jane, what, what's yours? And Sarah Jane, what are, what are your birth signs there? Before no. we what to go on to? Yeah, Lee, who's a Scorpio? Uh, who is the other one? Cheryl, who's a Taurus? Okay, so that's Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so that looks as if it's water signs going on there. Okay, so we've got Pisces, Cancerian, we've got Scorpio. So, should we do water signs next? Okay, water signs next. Let me have your so Jess, she's outside. I'll be right back. No worries. Okay, so we're going to start off with Scorpios. Okay. Okay, so Scorpios. Scorpio is my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, she's a Scorpio. Um, she's just had a baby uh, six weeks ago. She's doing really well. Um, so I want to say hi to my lovely... Oh, I didn't say hello to Brittany, Greg's daughter either in Leo's. So I can just say hello to her as well. So this is uh, Meg uh, Rhiannon, um, Scorpio, and it was Lee in the chat as well. She was a Scorpio. So, mm -hmm. okay. That one flew out. Mm, wow, so many of these are pertaining to the full moon. Yep. There is a theme always running. Uh, so these, this is for, I have to keep repeating this. Um, so this is for Monday, the 24th of May through to 
uh, the 30th of May 2021. Okay, so I will mute myself and it's over to Sharon. So for the beginning of the week for Scorpio, we have the Unbound card. This one flew out and it's releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. Okay, so it's another theme of releasing. And as you can see, there's a, a full moon in the background on this card. Um, so looking at this card, um, it, it's, it's, it's definitely emotions I'm feeling for you. Um, there's some pattern of emotions that you, you're gonna need to release. That this, um, this lunar eclipse is, is going to release it for you. Um, so it's easier to go with the flow and allow it, just allow it. Um, but I'm feeling for you, um, Scorpio, that it's uh, an emotional pattern that you've had uh, that you're being asked to release. Um, and, and it's going to set you moving higher in vibration once you get that released, once you release it out of your, you know, out of your field. Okay. And that's the beginning of the week. Um, the middle of the week, we have leadership and Holy Spirit. And here I feel that you're being guided to step up and uh, take a leadership role. Uh, this could be in your family. It could be in your career. Uh, it could even be in some kind of spiritual pursuit or, or, or pleasurable pursuit, some, something creative, but you're being asked to, to step up. Go take a step up from you know what you've been if if you've been following something, um, you're going to be going a little higher with that, and you're going to be divinely guided um, through each step. So that's nice. At the end of the week, we have Shield Maiden, and it's make plans and focus. Okay, so something new is going to be coming in after this uh, full moon eclipse. And so you're going to need to you know, focus on where you want to go from here and, you know, make the plans and just charge forward with it. Just, just go for it. Um, it looks like it's wrapping up to be a really nice week for you as well by the end of the week. That's what I have for Scorpio. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Check my jazzy again. <laughs> that's good. That's good for Maria. Oh. Okay, so Scorpio. Okay. So for Scorpios, I see. Okay, so once again, we've got the deal with it card. Um, really sorry, but I'm just going to show you because it is here. It's like get to the heart of the matter and deal with it. Um, go with it. Um, don't delay anymore. Okay, it's time to get on. Um, there seems to be some money matters. Okay, um, this feels as though um, there is more money to be made in one area of your life that you may not have really thought about, okay? But I'm seeing this extra money or extra kind of, um, it's like an area of your life that, that is gonna be exciting and it's gonna bring you lots of joy and happiness. Um, so it's like transferring, transferring your energy from one um, way of life to another. Um, I'm also seeing you releasing somebody from, um, you know, your, your way of life, um, you know, realizing that you can't always please this person. And sometimes uh, you have to let that person go. Um, that doesn't mean to say that you have to have a fallout with them. It can just mean that you, you, um, you're not getting on as well as you used to. And sometimes we have to admit that. Um, so that's the beginning of the week. Uh, for some of you, just at the beginning of the week, there does feel as if there's a lot of money around you. So this is like a boost of income, unexpected money that you didn't realize that you was entitled to. Okay, so that's some good news. By the middle of the week, um, walking on eggshells around a certain person or a certain situation, 
um, this feels as if this is either a father figure or a person in authority. Uh, so for some of you, it could be a fatherly character. Um, for others, it would be an authority figure. Um, I'm seeing a lot of humour around this um, sarcasm. And this could be that you feel as if you, the way that you're handling this is in a sarcastic way, which is actually helping you um, to deal with this. Okay, so, you know, to make, uh, make fun of it rather than to take it so, so seriously, um, you know, while you're kind of treading carefully around somebody. Um, I am seeing a very funny character around you, somebody who you really do get on with, and I'm seeing lots of banter, okay, around them and around you. So I know that you're getting on really well with this person. By the, the, by the end of the week, there's a new, um, a new beginning, okay, and I'm seeing self-employment. So it could be that somebody, um, or a lot of you, will be starting a self-employed business or be putting more energy into a self-employed business which is going to pay off because I feel that there is going to be um, new energy going into this. And this new energy is going to bring about um, actual income uh, from this new energy. Um, it is something that you have been wanting to get going, wanting to kind of give more energy, but there, there hasn't been time um, or you haven't made time up until this particular point. Um, and this point is um, now, it's like, uh, okay, it's time to step forward. It's time to give this a go. So I feel it's all about stepping on to new ground regarding business matters, work matters, or it's something that you're training or wanting to do, um, education, but it's all to do with new beginnings and things that make you happy. So there is definitely a theme that's running through um, this week, um, which is um, basically new, it's a new projects, okay? So very strong energy there. Okay, so that was Scorpio. So we're gonna do Pisces now. So. Yep, so 24th Okay, so for the beginning of the week, wow, what a beautiful card this is. Um, you're being asked to get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with the nature. And that's such an appropriate card for Pisces. Um, so many Pisces are psychic and empathic. Well, most, a lot of us are, but um, Pisces seem to be um, more so even. Um, so at the beginning of the week, you're, you're being asked to get grounded, um, stay focused. Uh, there's whatever it is in your, in your chart that you may be needing to let go of um, due to this full moon eclipse. Um, it's asking you to connect with nature. It's gonna help you get through letting go of that, whatever it is that, that's ending in, in your life. Um, I'm feeling that you're going to get a lot of uh, really very high divine high messages uh, once you get grounded. I'm, I'm feeling that meditation just the, because of the way she's sitting in this card and she's got the lines, the light going straight through all her chakras down into the ground. 
Um, I feel like you're going to be getting some actual downloads of information, of insights. Um, so make sure that you spend some time at the beginning of the week um, meditating if you can or getting out in nature and just getting really grounded and really quiet and becoming one with nature if you can. The middle of the week, we've got the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. That is the heart chakra. And that is uh, continuing on, I believe, from the beginning of the week. And again, it's another 11. Um, there's so many master number 11s coming through from for the middle of the week. Um, so this is this is possibly even some healing coming in for you. Um, with you getting grounded and letting go of, you know, the things that you need to let go of through this full moon eclipse. Um, you may even be getting your messages from Archangel Raphael or some healing from Archangel Raphael. So yeah, I'm feeling that the middle of the week is just carrying on. It's just, uh, it's, it's telling you to stay grounded and stay open to messages and information coming in that you're getting psychically, empathically coming in. And the end of the week, we have Direction Guardian and it says, choose your path, okay? And um, this is uh, towards the end of the week, you're gonna have the um, some opportunities presented toward, uh, to you to choose a path um, again, I'm feeling that this is also related, um, seeing the angel wings on him. Um, so there's, there's a, a, a very high path, I believe, being presented to you. Um, and it, it, it may actually be, you know, uh, something for you to contemplate throughout the week. Yeah, um, I'm just, I keep hearing you're getting divine messages that you are really going to be getting some downloads this week. And um, by the end of the week, you're gonna have um, an option, some options on, on what path to choose for yourself as you go forward. Let's see this card again, it's a beautiful card. The lion, the bull, and the eagle. All very forceful energies. Yeah. But I, I have see. I see. Yeah. That's for me and my mom. And uh, mm -hmm. we got all water signs in our girly family. Um, wow. so. I have no water signs in my family. No one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's an emotional. We were an emotional lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and my mum are Pisces. I've got Rhiannon, and my daughter um, Scorpio, and I've got my other daughter a Cancerian. So yeah. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful how there is a running theme, and it is all linked to this moon? Yes. This yes. Moon. Yeah, I, I really feel like Pisces is going to really be getting the downloads, the mm. divine information. Yeah, I've got loads of projects that I've got that I want to get started. So maybe this week I'll be getting organized with it. Uh, so Tricia said, my Nana was Cancer. So she, she's a Cancerian. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. So Pisces, I grew up with all earth signs in my family, <clears throat> Trisha said. What were all your air signs? Mostly air and yeah. earth. Right. Virgos, my son is a Virgo, my sister's a Virgo, my daughter's an uh, a Gemini, my brother's a Libra. Both my parents, though, my adopted parents were, were Scorpios, so I did have, they were both Scorpios. Yeah, yeah. So with the earthly, with the earthly lot, did, were they very practical? Did they like to kind of um, talk about work or work was quite a, 
an important subject around the dinner table, that sort of thing? Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very, um, um, my, my sister, she's got a lot of Leo in her chart and she's a little bit more on that uh, yeah. um, enthusiastic Leo, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, and my son, he's got Aquarius uh, as moon and rising. So um, he's definitely Virgo, but uh, he also has a lot of a, the Aquarius tendencies too. So a lot of fire, earth, and air. Not a lot of fire. I'm really the only fire sign, but um, earth and air, no water. <laughs> so what about you guys watching? Is your family full up of... Um, you know, a, a certain sign, a certain uh, element. So Trisha says, money and family business, it was all work. My parents had businesses. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so Pisces. <clears throat> so Pisces, um, uh, speaking out, um, I'm hearing you have it, either having your say, having words, uh, being very vocal, being very um, open and honest. It feels as if you're getting things off your chest, uh, things that you've wanted to say, things that you've needed to say to a certain person, or you've needed to be um, honest uh, about a situation that you feel that you're in or how you have been feeling. Um, okay, I'm, I'm seeing that you're, you know, when somebody is drifting away from you and you know, in order for them to not drift away from you, you're needing to um, make some uh, make some noise about it, basically, to express, you know, your point of view, so that maybe it can stop this from you and this person from drifting any further. Or it could be, you know, that could be for some of you, but for others of you, it could be that um, you want that person to drift away, or you feel as if you, you know, that you've you both drifted away to a certain point um, that you need to be honest and say, listen, we have drifted um, and this is it. So obviously, if I was reading for one person, I'd be able to pinpoint this and find out exactly what it means to that particular person. Um, but when you're reading for a lot of people, a lot of Pisces, just I mean, um, then you have to adapt this. And sometimes there are um, you know, various different timelines that you're seeing, um, you know, and you have to give those out. So um, it may mean one thing to one person, another thing, thing to another. I'm seeing around you um, new business ideas, um, you know, ways of making money, ways of kind of, um, you know, enhancing your original business or ways of adding on other opportunities that are going to be very good for you. This comes with a lot of excitement around the beginning of the week. Um, by the middle of the week, um, you've got this mischievousness uh, going on with you where you can't really take anything seriously um, because you've, you've got this pixie, it's like a pixie energy inside you uh, where you're, you're trying to be, um, you know, fun loving and light hearted and not taking um, anything uh, seriously. So yeah, it just feels as if there's a lot of kind of, um, you know, it's like childlike behavior, childlike energy um, after, you know, there being a period of not talking to somebody that you would normally talk to. Um, so it's like with them being out of the way, you're kind of having to implode your energies onto yourself uh, to try and work out who you are, what you're doing. But there is an element of freedom around you, freedom to be yourself, okay, or allowing yourself to be you. Okay, um, that's the middle of the week. So by the end of the week, um, end of the week, it seems that there is a tearful person around you, um, somebody who needs... Um, TLC, they need uh, tender love and care, they need um, a cuddle, they need uh, reassurance that everything's going to be okay, um, and there's a need to deal with things head on, 
uh, to not dilly dally about. Now, it wouldn't be the same if um, every person's uh, reading, every astrology signs reading has always had this card. And I'm going to show you again, uh, the deal with it card, it's come up. And this is 78 cards in a deck, you know, and it keeps coming up the same one. So um, this is just saying, get on with it. You know what you need to do. Um, stop delaying. You know, you've been nagged enough by the spirit. Spirit have been telling you, they've been showing you signs. Um, it is time this week to get on with what you know that you should get on with or to make those decisions and be honest about uh, how you want your life to be. Um, and that's exactly what I see you doing. Um, you are actually doing that, Pisces, this week. Okay, so very much open and honest conversations and being really out there with them. Okay, so that is Pisces. Okay, so the next one is going to be Cancerians. So this is for my Megan. So, hi Dawn, how are you? Hope you're doing all right. So Mary said, I'm packing the kitchen as I watch this. <laughs> oh, right. You're moving, Mary. <laughs> How you doing? Are you enjoying it? Sharon? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm as nervous um, as I thought I would be. Good. Yeah, but... <laughs> you know, it's natural to you. It's like you've been doing this forever. It's really good. Next, next break that you get, if you put your contact details down in the, um, in the comments, and then if anybody would like a, a full reading with, with Sharon, uh, you're welcome to contact her. Okay. Okay, so for cancer, um, you're going to start off the week with this full moon eclipse um, uh, calling in your tribe, basically. You've got the soul family, and this is a beautiful card. I love these cards. Um, this is telling you that um, you have some, some like-minded soul family members coming in. Um, you're likely to meet someone new this week. Um, maybe even an, a new group of people. Um, these people are going to mirror your your vibration. They're going to you're going to feel it when you meet them. You're going to feel this connection, knowing um, that that this this person or this group of people is is your tribe. Okay, so that's a beautiful start to the week. And I'll show you the card again. It's so pretty. Okay. For the middle of the week, we have appreciation and divine helpers. Um, and uh, this, this is saying that uh, you are being divinely guided, you are being helped. Um, and um, always show appreciation for, for all the little things, things that you might not think are worth um, having gratitude for, but everything. Um, Sometimes I'll walk outside and just smell the flowers because we've got some um, petunias here and they're really strong and they smell so good. And I just always, oh, thank you for that beautiful smell. It's just, it's gorgeous. So um, you're, you're, the middle of the week is going to give you this opportunity to um, express gratitude and, and appreciation uh, because you are going to be um, divinely guided and you're being helped, you're being guided, you're being given um, opportunities and um, you know, different forms of abundance. Um, so you just have to find those, they're, they're, they're being given to you. So you know, be open to receiving. And the end of the week, you have night, be brave and honest, okay? 
So there, I'm feeling like there's going to be um, a, a potential situation that's going to come up that's going to ask you to speak your truth. Um, and you're going to have to be brave about that. Um, as long as you speak your truth, you, you may have to stand up for yourself is what I'm hearing. Um, you need to, you're going to need to stand up for yourself in a um, strong but gentle manner, just um, speaking your truth um, without placing judgment on anyone else or blame on anyone else. Just speak your truth, how you're feeling about uh, the situation and uh, how you would like to either resolve it or move on with it and just be honest, be brave and be honest and it's all going to work out wonderful. Show you that card again too. It's more like that. All right. That's what we have for Easter. Okay. There's Ali. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I've gone? <laughs> Robin just got home, so I'm going to have to step away for a few minutes, but I will be back. No worries. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, we're going to do cancer. Okay, so let's have a look and see what I see for cancer. So hello to my Maggie. Um, this is my Maggie's birth sign. Okay, so, right. So Mary Jane said, you are all my soul tribe. We are, we're all soul tribe energy. Yes, we are. Okay, so Cancerians for the 24th through to the 30th of May. Okay, beginning of the week starts a wonderful um, shift. Um, you've got the, these are the light seers tower and this is like a spark within your pineal gland here that says, I want change. I want excitement, I need it, it's time. That's gonna be rising up inside you. Um, so these are all very similar, I'm afraid, um, this week, but this is there's a, always a running theme. This theme is linked to getting everything um, going. It's like, get on with it, kind of energy. The three of swords keeps coming up, get on with it. Um, dance as if you were on your own, as if nobody's watching you. Um, this is going to be a lovely feeling. So um, dancing, celebration, um, happiness, getting, getting, um, getting that feeling going of pure adrenaline, pure happiness. You know, where it's like you're excited about life, you're excited about, um, you know, your new beginnings. Okay. Um, you have in the past had to be um, putting a smile on your face no matter what, trying to be strong when sometimes you don't feel strong. Um, but there's no faking this. Uh, whatever you're feeling is really raw um, emotions and happy emotions. And that's what um, is going on at this particular uh, time, the beginning of the week for Cancerians. Okay, so the middle of the week mid of the week it's all about balance and I feel there's an, a calmness around you um, and a feeling of going within okay understanding more about yourself understanding um, about some emotional decisions and choices um, that are right in front of you and this can be um, from your own doing that you you know that you've got to make these decisions and choices that you can't wait around um, anymore um, and the temperance is about just trying to make everybody happy. Um, and sometimes it's like, well, what about me? Where, where do I fit in? You know, um, you know, these emotional choices are coming uh, directly because you've been putting everybody else forward and forgetting about you. OK, so um, this is going to be pointing the finger back at you and saying, OK, so um, make those decisions, make those choices um, and move on. Um, and this will help you out lots. Okay. 
So there are two sides to everybody, um, not just the Geminis have the two sides. We all have two sides. Um, it's just Geminis have a stronger polarity of those two sides, but we all have these different sides. And I feel that sometimes we hide a certain part of ourselves um, because we think that the other people around us can't handle seeing this other side or don't understand about the other side. And it's like, but you, you need to give them a chance, um, give them a chance to, to prove you wrong, you know, to, to, so that they can support you and be there for you. Um, I feel there's gonna be a lot of reminiscing about the past, um, thinking about how things used to be, thinking about, you know, um, old emotions, old, um, you know, situations that you found yourself in and contemplating um, about those situations. And I feel that once you kind of uh, allow these kind of emotions um, to come out and to drift away and move on, um, and you're able to then, um, you know, put everything into compartments and say, well, yeah, that was painful, that hurt. You know, I don't want to go through that ever again. Um, and it's like saying, I'm never going to give anybody the power to make me feel that desperate again. Um, and with all of this, this then proves that you can just move on. So it is about kind of saying that the, there was raw emotions in my past. There was lots that went on. I'm not afraid to show other people, but um, I still feel the pain sometimes um, of linked with the past. Um, but I'm still a very functioning person um, in my life and um, look at what I'm going to achieve um, or look at what I have achieved already um, and look what I'm going to. So it's like seeing and being proud of what you've, what you've got in your life and looking at, you know, your family, your friendships, looking at, you know, what it is that you've got around you and saying, you know, I feel happy with that. Um, but also saying, I've got this plan uh, to go forward so um, obviously the lunar eclipse moon is coming up in the middle of this next week so um, that when that change starts to happen then that's why it I think is is these emotions rise to the surface because of that um, because if there's anything that is still um, kind of lying there um, that you know means that you can't heal because this is still very, very kind of like a poison still there. Um, it's to release that, let it out, so that what you can do is this new phase of your life, you can then start to get on with. And I feel that that's exactly what's going to happen towards the uh, very last bit of the week. So that'll be really the end of May, maybe even going into the beginning of June. Um, that's where I see there is a new business, a new start, something that you feel that you are more than capable of doing and you're very excited to do that. And I feel this is to do with either a change of job um, or, you know, that you're going for, an, um, you know, starting up a job that you love, um, i.e. I, I self-employed business, or it is kind of going for that promotion or something, but it's to do with rising up forward um, on, an, um, on a work kind of uh, theme this feels as if it's like starts off the, that week um deep emotions and then ends up the end of that week um the beginning of june with new beginnings and feeling as though i want to show you this card actually um this is all the things that you've learned in the past and it's like all those things i have used um as you know growing just what i mean this is this is me growing you know shedding the past but these seeds are seeds of hope, seeds of new beginnings, opportunities, um, you know, and these will, will then uh, grow um, and reap the benefits later. Okay, so yeah, there you go. So there you go, that's what I see for Cancerians. Okay, so um, I know that um, Sharon may be uh, working at the moment she'll come back in a minute so we'll do the um, earth signs now everyone okay so we start off with Taurus then we do Virgo and then Capricorn 
Okay. You're doing training at the moment. Ah, there we are. Sarah Jane, you know that. Okay. So I'll start off and then we'll see how uh, Sharon's doing. Okay, as we go along. Okay, so this is Taurus now. Okay. So for Taurus, 24th to the 30th of May, Taurus energy. Let's get this going. Right. So the beginning of the week for Taurus. Okay, so a lot of spiritual um, happenings I'm seeing around you, Taurians. Um, now, the practical side of you is going to be feeling as though, you know, that was a trick of the light or, you know, I didn't really see that out the corner of my eye. It's just my imagination. Uh, so you're going to try making it out to be um, something that, that is not necessarily real okay that's what will start to come out but it isn't and i, I want to tell you um the spirit want to tell you um that the beginning of the week it is true they are going to be showing themselves more and more to you okay so this could be um you know orbs that you see in um in a photograph okay or a video that you're you're taking you'll start to see orbs and first of all, you might think, oh, my logical mind says they're dust particles. Um, but when you see them change direction and move in a different way than you would normally see dust moving, um, that's when you start to believe. So I feel that, you know, first of all, yes, you might question these, these happenings. Um, but then after that, there is, um, you know, the truth. Um, so you're going to need to be making some decisions and choices. And I feel that you're stuck in between two people, um, two people who have decided um, that they're going to um, get you involved in their argument or their issues. Um, this isn't going to sit right with you because you really don't want to be part of this. Um, and it's like, how am I going to be diplomatic here? Um, what am I going to do in order for this person or these people um, to, you know, stop playing games and get on with, um, you know, working this out on their own without involving everybody else. So there's a little bit of drama I'm seeing happening um, around you. And I feel that uh, this will, like I said, leave, leave you to kind of, I've got to make some decisions here. By the middle of the week, I feel that you are sorting out money matters um, and being very particular about, you know, how you deal with money, how you deal with spending, what it is that you're going to be um, doing in the future regarding money. Um, there's going to be a lot of excitement around this as well, um, because it feels as if I've done a lot of work in the past already. Um, and now I'm going to see um, just how this has been working out. Um, in the future. Okay, they're also talking to me about um, a family matter and I'm seeing the reminiscing about the past. So I'm hearing that you are talking to somebody really close to you about how things used to be and, you know, what experiences you've had, but this is in a, in a kind, caring and a nice, nice way. Um, this doesn't feel bad um, at all. This just feels as if it's, you know, really, really nice things that you treasure. There may even be some talk and discussions about, um, you know, pets that you used to have and, um, and, and that. So it's, it's a lot about kind of, um, you know, feeling joyous about it. Um, there's going to be a lot of, um, a lot going on in your mind around the end of this next week. Um, this will feel as though um, you've got, you're pushing yourself to make decisions and make some choices. And I don't feel that the pressure is really there. Um, I just feel as if it's you pushing yourself to make the decisions. Um, so please remember that. 
um, there is going to be a start and a finish. OK, it's a bit like a story that started um, and that this week it's going to come to a conclusion. It's a bit like ready for a new chapter to start. OK, and I feel that there's going to be doors that will close um, emotionally and financially. Um, and there'll be new doors opening both emotionally and financially. So endings and beginnings um, equally. OK, but in a good way, not in a bad way. OK, so there you go, Taurians. So that's all that you missed. I've only just started doing the Taurus. Okay, so I can go ahead and do Taurus too then. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. I already shuffled these, but I'm gonna give them one more quick. Okay, so. The Taurus for the beginning of the week, you have the law of attraction. Look at all that abundance. What a beautiful card. Um, this is um, the beginnings for you. Well, it's it's again the the full moon lunar eclipse um, signifies some some endings, um, and then which leaves openings for for new beginnings, um, you are, you're gonna be having uh, this, this um, attraction to you, this, um, this, this need for you to monitor your thoughts, um, monitor your, your, um, your wishes, your, your dreams, what it is you want, um, you, and you're being reminded that the law of attraction, you, you, um, you reap what you bring in, you, you reap what you think, you, you reap what you sow. So thank you. Positive thoughts, um, the, having gratitude for, um, the more gratitude you can show for what you do have, the more you're gonna bring in. That's the law of attraction is, is resonating with what you have, being grateful for what you have, even if you don't have what it is that you think you want. Um, so basically what you're being asked to at the beginning of this week is to monitor your thoughts um, and um, be sure to align your thoughts and your feelings with what it is you truly want. Um, this is going to be brought to you uh, through the law of attraction, okay? That's the beginning of the week. Um, the middle of the week is the community and it's spiritual ancestors and this this theme has been coming up a lot um you're being you're being divinely guided you've got uh, your ancestors who are helping guide you um and, and it's a community of them and it, it also um the number three is uh, signif signifies community as well so um you may be guided to start um, following a certain group or start, um, um, you know, uh, you, you may be guided to go somewhere and you meet somebody new. Um, you're being guided by your ancestors and um, it's a divine, it's a divine guidance. So listen to those nudges when you get them, when you get the nudge to do something different, it's, it's drawing you towards uh, the community that's going to be um, most helpful to you at this time in your in your path okay and at the end of the week we have the sage be devoted and committed so maybe something um i'm feeling that there's something um in, in reference to writing maybe wanting to write a book um, not everybody are, is doing that, but maybe you've been feeling a nudge to journal. Um, and I'm feeling that this, this is um, a nudge towards you to do that, to, to start journaling, to, to write some kind of communication, some kind of writing. Um, 
but it's asking you to be devoted and committed to it. Um, it you know, you may have a, a desire to write poetry. Um, you may just have a desire to journal. Um, journaling is very good uh, to go back and reflect on uh, where where we've been in the past as far as our thoughts, our feelings, where we're, where we're headed as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that writing is going to be beneficial for you at the end of the week, some type of writing, even if it's a letter, maybe you need to write a letter to someone. Just be devoted and committed to it. Yes. I've got this silky cloth on my table here and my yeah. mouse just won't work with <laughs> Oh no. It needs that. I'm gonna have to change I'm gonna have to change it because it really doesn't work. Hmm. Oh Severa's back from walking Benji. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be doing Virgo. Okay now. Uh, do you want to start going first, or do Can. you want to? Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. That works. That works for you. However, you want to do it. Okay. Just give me a minute to shuffle. Virgo, this is my daughter and my son. Is it Virgos? Yeah. I'm not my daughter. I'm my sister. My sister. They like to plan me. ahead, don't they? They like to know where they're going and what they're doing. They like a plan. Usually the daughter's birthday is actually today. Oh, happy birthday, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Stephanie. I oh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, she they they went out to dinner last night. <clears throat> the adults, the, the, the group of friends they hang around with, they went out to dinner and then today they were going out with the kids. Nice. Nice. It's nice here in England because the restaurants are open again. Yeah. So. Okay. Right. Two cards will almost mean the same thing. Okay. So at the beginning of the week, you have acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels of unconditional love and acceptance. So I'm feeling um, with this full moon in a full moon lunar eclipse, um, I'm feeling what you're letting go is going to be a concept, uh, a concept of yourself. Um, Virgos tend to be very methodical, very um, analytical, and um, sometimes they want to pick apart um, their faults and flaws. And you're being told that, you know, accept yourself as the beautiful divine being that you are. Um, you've got a lot of guidance as well. Um, there, This week is going to be really big week for a lot of people, um, the, the divine guidance that's coming in, the downloads that are coming in for people, the information, um, the awakenings. Um, it's, it's, I'm feeling for you, Virgo, it's going to be very uh, profound at the beginning of the week. And uh, you're really being asked to accept the, the beautiful being that you are. Okay. And in the middle of the week, we've got Bravado Warrior Guides. Um, there may be somebody that, um, or a situation where you're going to need to stand up for yourself. I'm feeling that there is going to be maybe some potential minor conflict. And um, I'm feeling that uh, really all you need to do is stand your ground um, in, a, in a firm but gentle manner. Um, you may need to um, you may need to put up some strong boundaries is what I'm feeling. Uh, okay, there just may be a situation where you've had enough, you've got to the point where you've had enough and um, 
you know, it, it could be somebody um, judging you or accusing you. Um, but it's just something where you just need to put up the boundaries and say, I've had enough. I'm not, you know, this, this is how it is. Speak your truth, gentle, but firm. Okay. That's the middle of the week. And at the end of the week, um, it's, this card is very similar. It's the Lord take charge with authority. Okay. So um, this situation may move on into the end of the week. And this, this card is just a stand your ground. You know, you may have to take charge of a situation. You may have to um, take over a situation. There may be some type of situation in your life where you need to um, step up and, um, you know, become, uh, uh, I can't think of the word. It's, it's just step up and take charge, step up and, and um, step into your power. It's don't feel like I don't th feel like you're going to be wrapping up the week with this um, with this situation from the middle of the week though I feel like this is a, a where once you've you've stepped up in the middle of the week with that situation that you're going to be in your power you're going to you're going to feel you know more in charge regarding the situation and it's going to be you know it's going to be a good thing okay and I'll show you that card one more time it's a beautiful card that's what I have for. Lovely. So it could be that the middle of the week and it, it runs the situation that you saw at the, at the middle of the week runs on into the end of the week. But by the, mm -hmm. you know, or the kind of that first couple of days of that, of that, and then it will just move forward um, to completion by the end. It sounds like. Yes. Yes. Okay. And yeah. that you'll be standing in your power at that point. So in charge. Large and in charge. <laughs> Feeling good about the yeah. situation, I feel. Yeah. I do believe that we're all all being tested at the moment, really tested. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. you know, it's all about, you know, making sure that, you know, we are being true to ourselves um, and it's it's like there's a temptation of backing down because there might be other people around who you know feel very strongly about what they feel um, and they want you to back down it's like nobody should have to back down to anybody everybody is entitled to their opinion and it's okay um, yes, so exactly. sometimes we just have to you know just stay true and just say you know, you have your beliefs and I have mine and that's all right. It's okay. But uh, yeah. there's a lot of testing going on. Yes, I learned the hard way to, you know, do, <laughs> do it with calm and gentle authority. Yeah. Sometimes you have to well, set those boundaries. Yeah. There is a, you know, this is a, there's a big divide going on out there, isn't there? Let's face it. I mean, um, people who, you know, the big divide before this was um, about Trump and Biden. Do you see what I mean? If you remember, you know, a few months back, that's what it was all about. It's about, you know, belie believers in Trump and believers in Biden. And now it's all about the vaccination or the going against the vaccination do you see what i mean so it's it's you know there's always some sort of and it feels as if there's one conflict after another it's just trying to drag people away from each other um in mm. conflict and if we can try and find a middle ground um to it maybe mm. to agree not to talk about it maybe i don't know but i this mm. is very difficult really because when you've done loads and loads of research on something and it is a something that could kill somebody, somebody in your family or somebody of your friends. If you thought that, really, really thought that, could you really keep your mouth shut? Yeah, I've got a friend who is being kept from her grandchildren. Her, her, her one 
son will not let her see her brand new grandchildren, grandchild that was just born May 1st, you know, so yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's not easy, it's not easy, um, no. but it, it's, you know, I, I was listening to something um, last week, and it, it just made so much sense, and it was, they were likening what was going on to a fish tank being cleaned, and it's like, everybody is going, oh my God, why is this so dirty? Where did all this stuff come from? It's coming from under the gravel and it's coming up and it's coming up, but it's coming up to be cleaned and to be you know, filtered out. And so it's coming up for people to see what's been hidden for so long. And it was such a, an awesome analogy. Yes. You know, and, and unfortunately, um, we, we have, everybody's gonna, be touched by it in some one way or another, you know. Yes. So you just gotta, yeah. you gotta move through it as, as gracefully as you can. Yeah. I can I can I can attend to the to the non-graceful version. <laughs> I wasn't graceful recently. <laughs> no. Um so I learned my lesson on that one, but you know, that was a year you, ago how almost. Do you, how do you not though? How how do you you know, it's like when a friend says to you, I'm thinking of getting the jab and you've done your research, it's like this could kill you. Yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't believe that. They honestly don't believe that. And it, there's, there's, but it's, it's the acceptance it thing. Right? You've, you've got to. I know. Hmm? But is it wrong or right not to give your opinion? Because what happens if something happens? What happens? You know, that's on your shoulders then, isn't it? If they're leaving behind yeah, children. Offer, or offer behind the, the you know. Information. Mm. Yeah, it's tricky. Um, I, I, well, I know. I, think we, I have people in my family that have taken it, you know, so. Me too. I mean, I've, yeah. I just pray for the best. You know, I don't, I don't think it's going to affect everybody in a negative way. Yeah. And, and this is, this is my feeling um, that it's, I feel like um, not all of them are loaded with the, the poison, so to yeah. speak. I think some of them yeah. are maybe saline, you know, yeah. and yeah, me it's like, a, me it's too. a random, it's like, yeah. you know, a random, you know, you get what you get. So I'm yeah. praying, you know, that the, that those yeah. that did take it, you know, got the saline or if that's the case, yeah. but that's a strong feeling I've had for a while. Yes. Yeah. There's, there's some people it, it it's affecting them so negatively. And I mean, I've heard of so many people dying from it and then other people seem like it's not affected them at all. Yeah. My auntie's very poorly, very, very poorly. Taking it, yeah. Anyway, I think that's what's coming up with the cards, though. I do. Um, I've been feeling it um, throughout the weeks. I've been feeling it. So let's have a look and see what's going on with Virgos. Okay. So tune in. So twenty fourth to the thirtieth of May. Okay, so the beginning of the week. Beginning of the week, there's going to be a feeling of either rejection or a feeling of, um, you know, um, some sort of relationship that is out of balance. It's where one person is putting more effort in than the other um, that is then causing there to be um, a conflict Okay, and um, a need to kind of balance this out and get it sorted. Okay, um, there seems to be an important meeting that's coming up. Um, and this would be the, the beginning of the week, the beginning of next week. Um, I'm seeing this meeting. Um, it does feel as if it's official. So this is either doctor, solicitor, bank manager, estate agent, um, you know, interview, there's something, something big is turning up 
um, around you. Um, and there's somebody who could be more supportive than they are. Um, and this is going to feel very, um, this is going to be feel very um, heartfelt. It, it's heartfelt. Okay. And um, it's like, I feel my heart is heavy. Um, there's links around transport, travel plans, um, getting from A to B, going somewhere. So it could be that you know, there may be some people who are being let down, um, who needed a lift, or, you know, perhaps um, they needed something um, to do with kind of uh, transport energy. Um, and that it was either rejected, or there seems to be some, some sort of issue there. Okay. So the middle of next week, <coughs> The middle of next week, it's like you're tippy toeing around a certain person. Um, you don't know what to say to them. You don't know what to do. Okay. Um, it feels as if you are standing your ground. You're not backing down. Uh, you've made, um, you know, it, it's like I, I've, I've got where I am now and I know where I'm going. Okay. So it's a very firm kind of feeling here. Okay. It's like I will. I will fight if I have to, but I'd rather not. I'd rather everything just continue the way it's supposed to. There is a definite plan of action for you um, to go forward. And this is linked with your ambitions, work, um, study, drive, motivation, okay? Um, so this is all to do with kind of things that you desire, things that you want. So that project is going ahead. Um, it's, uh, it's, there's a clear road ahead. Um, and nothing's going to stop you. Um, but there may be somebody who was also on this um, on this route forward that may have been going in the same direction of, as you. There may be a change of circumstances or things that um, things that really need to be addressed or sorted out. Okay, um, but you know. There is going to be a feeling of I'm standing my ground. I'm standing up for what I believe in. OK, um, it could be just what we were talking about just now. Um, that could be linked. It could be something um, personal, like a family matter. OK. So towards the end of the week, I'm seeing uh, decorating plans, moving or decorating. Um, so for some of you, it'll be moving. Some of you will be DIY and sorting out. Um, I feel that there are a few secrets that is being kept away um, from um, people. Okay, there's also a pregnancy announcement that is being kept quiet. It's like, um, don't tell anybody yet. Uh, let's keep this to ourselves. Let's wait. Okay, I'm hearing kind of that plan. <clears throat> and this plan it's like an organization of we'll tell them then okay so there's definitely somebody who wants to announce a pregnancy or wants to announce something nice okay to family and friends and it's like there's a plan it's like a surprise okay and i'm getting the mother energy mother link or or fertility okay so for some of you it will be fertility for others it will be mother okay um, and I'm seeing kind of the changes to do with house. It could even be that you're going to announce that you're moving. <coughs> Sorry, that you're going to be moving around um, the end of next week. OK, um, yeah. So, yeah, very busy time going on for Virgos. Very, very busy. OK, so there you go. That's what I see. OK, so the next one will be Capricorn. Okay. So Capricorn. Hello, Elizabeth. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I needed healing. It's a little bit better now than it was. It is true, Mary Jane, it is like one big human experiment. You are right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really 
is scary what they're doing to people. It's just not your normal vaccination, not normal at all. It's not like any others. There's something very strange about it. Okay, so I can see that uh, Sharon may be busy. So what I'll do is um, I'll carry on and do Capricorn. And then um, hopefully she'll pick up later. Yeah, of course, Elizabeth. Mm. Is it the um, these ones, the, the Feng Shui ones with the obsidian? Because these, these beads, um, I've actually added on black obsidian beads because some of the um, obsidian bracelets that they say are obsidian are not obsidian. Um, so I've actually added on some, some actual beads and obsidian beads. Yeah. So yeah, just let me know. Um, I do these in um, small, medium and large now. So just let me know how many and let me know the address and I'll, um, I can then tell you what, uh, what the prices are. I can confirm that it's nanotechnology in the vaccine and that is not being normal. It's true. It is true. <coughs> Yeah. You all right, Sharon? Yeah, I had to I had to run in the kitchen for a minute. Um have you read already for Capricorn? I haven't done any yet. Okay. I'm shuffling now. <laughs> okay, no worries. I have a very good friend of my childhood friend. She's a Capricorn. She raved about your readings last week, yours and Vera's. Aww. She did. Yeah. She, um, yeah. That's really was nice. spot on to what was going on. Yeah. It's lovely for Vera as well to get that feedback. I mean, I've loved feedback as well, but when you're starting out, it's important to have the feedback, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You kind yeah. of need to need to know that you're being accurate and yeah wow nice cards very nice um so Capricorn the beginning of the week is starting out with the heart heart chakra okay. and it's saying love is at the heart of this matter um there's a releasing for everyone um or, the, the uh, full moon eclipse is requiring everyone to be releasing whatever that falls in your chart. Um, and I feel like this is going to be um, an emotional releasing for you. Um, there may be something that you need to emotionally just walk away from, just let go of. Um, uh, I'm feeling too that centering yourself and asking for the guidance. Um, there's there's situations, there's emotional situations, uh, like I said at the beginning of the week, that you're going to be wanting to let go of, needing to let go of, um, and and asking for guidance. What I'm hearing is is asking for the guidance, and it, you will be guided. You you will see the signs. You will see the things coming into your life that will help guide you to your next step okay so that's what i have for the beginning of the week um the middle of the week is decisions and um the higher self so again guidance there's being so much guidance giving uh be there's so much guidance being given to all of the signs this week um because this has come up in almost every reading that i've done and your higher self is is offering there's there's opportunities there's different um, ways you can go and they're all positive um, from what I'm feeling and seeing from this because you're 
your higher self is not going to guide you to go in, in a bad direction. It's not going to guide you to go down a bad path. Um, it's always going to guide you to go, you know, you may have challenges, but it's always going to be for your highest growth. And, and um, it's always going to help you grow and, and open up the love within yourself for yourself always with these decisions. Um, so they're all, they're all good decisions. You can see here, there's, it's, uh, the, the sun is shining on the other side, no matter what path you take. And then at the end of the week, again, guardian angel, you are now alone. By the way, you're hearing that um, you are gonna be feeling a little emotionally exhausted, maybe a little emotionally overwhelmed, and they're reminding you that you're not alone. <clears throat> and white feathers, if you find white feathers, that is always a sign that they're trying to show you that they're there guiding you, um, that you're loved. And, you know, again, there's three points on this, and there's three different paths on, on this card. So you're going to have like the option of three, three different options. And not go wrong with any of them. So they're they're letting you know that they're always with you. You're not alone. Breathe. I'm hearing breathe, relax, and know that you're guided and know that you're loved. Okay. And that is what I'm getting for Capricorn. This upcoming week. Allison go. <laughs> Maybe she stepped away. Did you step away, Allison? Nope, there she oh, is. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I didn't hear that you'd finished. She was so quiet. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got my earbuds in now, so it's a whole different sound for me. <laughs> oh, I'm reading some of the lovely comments. Uh, Mary Jane oh. Watson said, uh, with packing mm -hmm. and moving and money, buying a house, this running theme with all the signs are spot on for me, along with walking away amicably for, uh, for of a 20 year relationship. Logistics of dr driving with a lot of pets, all of it. Uh, thank you for doing these readings. Much love to you both. That's lovely, mm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are welcome. And hi, Gabby. So this is Gabby who's- hi, Gabby. She's going to be doing readings with me on the 16th of June or around there anyway that weekend um, because obviously some Sundays we do the event just I mean so we so it may not be the same same time so yeah don't forget to put your details down in the chat um, I have forgotten I'm gonna put my email um, because I, I can't log into my um, yeah, I'm just going to put yeah. my email so if that, you can contact me that way. That'll, that'll, yeah, and that's good for anybody, even if they're the UK or wherever, won't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's going on with Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn for the 24th to the 30th of May. Right, so I'm seeing old friendships or old partnerships, that sort of thing, um, going to be around you the beginning of this next week, um, Capricorns. So this is like you are kind of stepping forward out of, um, out of the old and maybe into the new, okay, with, with new people, new friendships or reuniting with people that you haven't seen for ages. Um, it could be a relationship that you were very much very close. And then it could be that you've drifted apart. Um, and then uh, the beginning of this next week is where you're getting on much better. Um, it feels as if it's like, you know, when you feel as if you're on new ground, meaning um, that you, you feel differently to how you did in the past, or that, you know, that maybe 
um, either one of you have learned vital lessons about you know what has what has um, transpired uh, between the both of you at this point. Um, there seems to be a bit of a feisty energy. So it's like um, for, for you guys, Capricorns, um, I'm not sure if this is you or whether or not this is the person from the past, but the personality I've got here is somebody who's very one-minded. They, they can be very um, direct. Um, they don't beat around the bush. They don't kind of let you know um, gently about situations. They tend to kind of say it very bluntly how, it, how things are. They can be, um, you know, they know where they want to go. They know what they want to do. They don't, um, you know, they, they definitely are um, a very fired up person, okay? So that's the personality that I'm seeing around this. So this is either you and that's how you're feeling at this time or this is linked to um, the person that I'm seeing come back into your life. It's going to put my phone on charge, otherwise I will lose it. Okay, right, so um, by the middle of the week, um, for Capricorns. Middle of the week, um, it's going to be all about boundaries, all about people overstepping those boundaries. And for you having to kind of say, hey, hold on a minute. I don't like the way that you've spoken to me. I don't like what you're doing. You know, there is a limit to what I'm okay with. You know, it could be setting up some rules and regulations so there's no misunderstandings. Um, because sometimes you know, when it's like a, a, a what, how things used to be and how things are now, there's, a two, there's two different energies. And maybe this overlap isn't right for you anymore. Okay, so it's all about kind of just letting everybody know where they stand and then there's no misunderstandings. Okay. Um, now I'm seeing at the end of the week uh, for you Capricorns, um, there will be somebody who you will not be talking to. Um, you know, I feel that you would have normally talked to this person, uh, but you've decided that you no longer can communicate. Um, this lack of communication will hurt. Um, it will make you feel um, a bit lost and, and uh, you know, needing some, some new connections okay, with somebody, you know, maybe new, uh, somebody who you can talk to now, okay, and uh, so, you know, the universe will bring you somebody who you are able to, you know, talk to and, and connect with, um, you know, when, we, when we're not around the people that we normally would be, okay. I do feel that there is um, having to walk sideways around a tricky situation, I'm feeling very, very awkward. I'm feeling as if all of this is to do with emotional relationships, uh, the trickiness between one relationship and another relationship, uh, the dynamics, okay, of other people getting involved um, with our actual, um, you know, choices, you know, people feeling as if they've got uh, everything to, to say about it, you know, and it's like, this is nothing to do with you. Um, this is my life. This is my choices. Um, okay. I do feel as if there is an obstacle that um, could be something that you can't get past. Um, it could be that you need time um, or you need to kind of go about things from a different angle. Um, like I said, you know, maybe um, somebody needs to be a bit more patient with you. Um, maybe you you're being asked to be patient um you know obviously for some of you it'll be one way and the other another way um so yeah so it just feels as if sometimes we just have to honor the fact that um we we go at our own paces and and we have to be um allowing of that okay we have to be you know, honouring that and honouring our own selves, honouring our own emotions. 
um, and not being pushed, okay, too fast or too far. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see with cat thorns. Okay, so we're going on. That's all the earth signs now. So we now go on to the air signs. Okay, this is our the last lot now, um, the last of the elements. I think you've done really well, Sharon. It's like you've been doing this forever. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you get a little tongue tied sometimes because what I'm thinking and what I'm trying to say is not matching. <laughs> so, oh, no. Yeah, that's, no, that's nerves. <laughs> yeah, it's nerves. Brilliant, honestly. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, the 24th to the 30th of May, and Sharon, uh, this is for Aquarius. This is okay. for Aquarius. This is my moon sign. Okay. And I think Elaine's moon and rising, if I remember correctly. Okay. So Elaine's just said you are good. Oh. And you are. <laughs> Thank you, Very Elaine. good. Okay, so starting off the week, um, we get cleanse and detoxify. So this is something that a lot of us are already doing. And um, I'm feeling like, um, and I have to keep mentioning this full moon lunar eclipse as a release. It's a release. So um you know, check where that's going to be falling in your chart. And uh, it's possible that there needs to be a detox of, um, it could be um, addictive behaviors, it could be addictive substances, it could be foods, it could be, you know, um, thoughts, concepts, you know, your certain emotions, but um, you're going to be going through this cleanse and detoxifying um, phase at the beginning of the week um, and I'm hearing that it's not going to be painful so to speak it's not going to be um, you know anything that's going to cause you a lot of discomfort um, and it's actually excuse me it's actually um, going to actually be feel very good once you get through it um, it's going to help you I'm, I'm actually feeling for the majority of people, and I know that's not going to be for everybody, but I'm really feeling like it's emotional detoxing, um, emotional patterns, emotional behaviors, um, mental patterns, mental thoughts, mental behaviors, that type of thing, more than physical um, cleansing and detox, although it will be physical for some people. Okay. That's the beginning of the week. <clears throat> the middle of the week, and uh, we had this card come up for, I can't remember, I, I can't remember who else it was, but this card has come up um, previously, and that is um, Scorpio, leadership, whole, and, and, it, and you're being guided by the Holy Spirit, um, you're being asked to take, go up the next level, take, take the next step, um, and you're being divinely guided uh, by the Holy Spirit, um, uh, your your path is being lit, and um, this is this is the next step on your path. Um, after we go through the releasing of you know what each of us needs to release in the beginning of this week, we're going to be presented with like a, a void space, and um, and then presented with options, and yours. Uh, is going to involve some some leadership. It's going to involve stepping up into you know your next your next phase. Okay. Um, and then for the end of the week, we have the arrow, and it says surround yourself with protective energy. Okay. So you may be feeling like um, you may be feeling like the people are coming at you. There's uh, a situation where you feel like you're being um, accused or judged and you know that that there's arrows coming at you and it's just it's um it's part of this releasing that um, what i'm hearing is part of it's it's part of the releasing um there's there's a um a pattern that's 
it's moving out of your life and it's, it just has to go through its natural phases to, to move out. So um, just surrounding yourself with positive energy, um, you know, taking uh, Epsom salt baths or sitting in nature or meditating, um, listening to positive music, uh, it's gonna help get you through what just feels mental. It feels, um, feels like your, your mind is you know, feeling attacked when it, I don't really feel it is actually going to be. It just, it's, it's a perception. Okay, it's a part of releasing. Okay, and so it's a beautiful card. And that's what I'm seeing for Aquarius for this week. <laughs> wow, that's lovely. So do you think there is a running theme going on with these readings? Can you feel yes. the energy? Absolutely. It's, uh, I feel like, I think because there is so much releasing, you know, there's every, it's different for everybody. Um, yeah. And it will, will depend on where this full moon eclipse falls in your charts but as to what you're releasing, but um, everybody is, and everybody's being divinely guided. I see that in every mm -hmm. single reading, divinely guided. Yep. And not all the cards say that either. <laughs> They're just the ones that do say that keep coming up. Really? Yeah. So every single week, there's a different theme. It's like you can see how everybody is evolving week by week, what the kind of energy is. You know, there's always a repeating card that keeps coming out. Have you found that? Have you got a card that keeps repeating? Well, this one has repeated twice. So and it, it is the step up to leadership card. I, I believe it was Scorpio that had it, the step up to leadership card. Yeah. Um, so if anybody out there has Aquarius and Scorpio in their chart, they're really being asked to, to step yeah. up and take take the leadership role in, in some area of their life. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'll give you full right. screen here. Okay, so this is for Aquarius. The 24th to the 30th of May. Right, the beginning of the week, your psychic ability is gonna be really, really strong. Um, the beginning of this week, Aquarius. Um, it's like you are in tune with everybody that you come into contact with. It's like you could read their mind, you could read their emotions without even really trying much. Um, it can be a little bit scary um, you may feel a little bit kind of overwhelmed by this energy. It's my Mo just coming to join in. Hello, darling. Hi, Mo. What do you think? Come join in. Oh, he's wet again. It's been right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he's just helping. He's just really helping, aren't you? I've only got one more treat left for you. I'm so sorry about this, Aquarians. But he just goes into this. Can you remove your bottom from the screen? This way. I've only got one left. I'm just drying my cat. Yeah. I use a sock. Find it a lot easier now. Okay. Is that all right? Very professional. So, very psychic ability, Aquarians. Yeah. And if I could actually just read the cards, um, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, breaking free. So if you have been um trying to chew in, tune in, sorry, chew, he's chewing, sorry. 
gone. Um, if you are trying to tune in a lot to your psychic ability, if you're trying to um, enhance your psychic powers, um, if you're doing any training or learning, then you're going to accelerate very quickly, okay, especially uh, the beginning of next week. It's like um, if there has been any blocks, if there's been any, um, any kind of, um, you know, lack of confidence, a lack of feeling of, you know, can I do this or, you know, can't I, any doubts whatsoever, they're all going to start to go and um, it's going to start to evolve more, okay? Um, you're also going to find that other people, you're noticing people that wouldn't normally be psychic in, in any way, shape or form uh, will be coming out with things and it's like they they've definitely been given something um, they've been given a download or some sort of information um, you know psychic information um, but this kind of break is like breaking free of kind of restrictions that you have either had on yourself or other people have had on them um, there is a flirtatious uh, person around you um, also um, around the beginning of the week okay so this flirtatious person uh, will be somebody who um, you can really connect with now this person doesn't have to be a potential um, you know person for your love life although for some of you it will um, this can be just a friend this can be a friend you know um, who has got kind of a bit of an outrageous kind of uh, nature or personality it could be that this is a friend of yours who is um, who is that way, you know, in their actual personality. And it could be some of you, this is your personality, but it's definitely a personality of flirtatious energy, psychic ability, confidence and happiness um, bursting out around the beginning of the week. By the middle of the next week, um, there's a, I'm seeing a celebration, but it seems as if there's a celebration and then another celebration. So it's like I'm seeing two, okay? So um, this could be two different people celebrating. It could be you celebrating one thing, someone else celebrating another. It could be you've got two things that you've got going on, but I'm definitely seeing two celebrations. Um, and then I would say that you are then planning uh, for, for something um, in the near, near future, planning for um, either a party or planning, um, you know, okay, for some of you, it can be connecting. Um, it can connect to um, the party or the celebration, this planning. For others of you, it can be that the party or celebration is one thing, and this planning and organising for the future, it could be um, completely separate, and that could be to do with you know, things that you want to achieve, you know, and going for it, okay? Um, because also, I then see this planning an organisation, I'm then seeing a new job, um, new money, new finances, um, new opportunity. Um, it could be promotion, extra responsibility, or something really good um, to do with um, your abilities. Um, you know, the chariot to me indicates that you are heading into the, um, the future and you've got to kind of steer yourself into the right future, uh, the right way. You see what I mean? It's like, should I carry on this way or should I be tempted to change my pathway and try something else? Um, it could be that this is li what's linked to this new job or new opportunity. So it's like, you know, decisions over which way to go. So crossroads kind of time at this, at this point. Um, and this is towards, I would say the 30th of May, uh, towards the end of the week, the end of that week there. Um, emotionally, you then got to decide what you're gonna do emotionally about a situation that is right in front of your eyes. There's absolutely nothing else you can do apart from organize it, organize yourself, organize this situation. Um, and I'm seeing you've really got to weigh up the pros and the cons uh, to see whether or not this is, um, you know, when you, you don't know who, 
okay, there's an argument and you don't know who's at, who's at fault. Um, it could be that there is no right and wrong, that basically it's just two people's side of their own situation. Um, but I can see emotional turmoil going on around this time um, and a need to decide, okay? Um, but the, the actual feeling that I've got for you um, Aquarius people is excitement, happiness, abundance, um, you know, celebration, um, birthdays, it's, it, you know, something like that is going on. Um, and then there's going to be a change or a shift um, and decision time around the very last week there. Um, the very last few days, sorry, of next week, um, you know, and uh, that's when you've got to make the decision. You know, you're at a crossroads. Shall I go in this direction or this direction? Okay, so there you go. Let's go see for Aquarius. There you go. So for Mary Jane, um, so Dee Dee said, I love other people's take on them. And uh, Mary Jane said, makes total sense. Memorial Day weekend next weekend. Okay, here we are. So this is now Gemini's. Okay, as Greg oh, would say, this Gemini. Is mm -hmm. This is my daughter. Her birthday is today. Oh, happy birthday. I will leave you with this. Enjoy. Aaron, too, is a Gemini, and so is um, Stephanie, and um, Elsa. There's a lot of Geminis in our group. Okay. So Gemini, the uh, beginning of the week, just starting off with you is the relationship card. Okay. Um, so as the full, full moon eclipse is asking each of us to release something, um, right away I'm hearing for you releasing um, pat particular patterns in relationships and uh, relationships with yourself as well. Um, it, it, it looks like it's something that you've been working on. You've been working on um, letting go of particular, uh, like, I don't know, maybe perhaps like, uh, just certain, uh, I'm trying to come up with a, uh, an example. Um, a relationship pattern such as, you know, um, always uh, giving in for the other person or, you know, um, just something you're being asked to, to let go of, release so that you can move higher in, in, um, in your relationship. It, it, this could be with yourself too. Um, this card actually does say your primary relationship is with yourself and with God and with every other relationship follows from there um, so it's it's like releasing some kind of pattern that you have going on within your relationships is going to take you to the next level it's going to um, help move you on with your um, on your path this is going to be going on for you at the beginning of the week and in the middle of the week uh, you've got this card came up as well already um, is called uh, appreciation from the divine helpers. So you're being asked to um, just feel gratitude and appreciation for for everything that you know is in your life, all the small things, um, uh, the love that your pet may give you, and they come up and snuggle with you. Um, you know the the beauty of of springtime; it's just beautiful everywhere. And, and um, 
know that you're being divinely guided, know that you're being given these, these gifts as um, guidance and, and to help you on your path to make things easier for you, um, to make your life as, as pleasant as possible. But we all have our challenges. You're still always guided to take the easier route. A lot of times we choose to ignore that. We don't even realize that we're being guided and we end up taking the more difficult path. So this is just a reminder to, um, you know, appreciate everything that is in your life. Um, I know a lot of Gem Geminis personally, and um, it's one thing that they do, they do appreciate. So um, this, this could also be acknowledgement for that um, as well. If you see the stars that are being gifted upon the people in the card. And then uh, at the end of the week, you've got um, the snake and it says shed old skin, okay? And this is going with the theme of releasing this week, releasing um, things that no longer serve you and letting that go, shedding that old skin and making way for the new to come in. That's what I'm seeing for Gemini this week. Thank you. <laughs> no. Okay, so Trisha, she's saying she's a Gemini out there. And Suzanne said, today is my granddaughter's birthday. Oh, wishing oh. her happy birthday. So happy birthday uh, Trisha to her too. Okay, so let me have a look and see what I see for Gemini. Right. Okay, so beginning of the week. I'm hearing somebody being very fussy. Um, they're fussing about tidiness. They're fussing about, you know, who's not done what, when and where. Now, I know this is probably for some people an everyday occurrence. Um, so, you know, but um, this to me feels as if this particular situation is not the normal. Okay, it's like somebody has got a perfection energy and everything has to be in its place, everything has to be just so, and it has to be done their way. So if you do have somebody in your kind of household that does like everything done their way, then I'm seeing a second person who is also being like that, okay? Um, so imagine two of them and both people wanting it done their own way. So it could be a bit of a clash um, of personalities going on. Um, it could be that there is something that this person is needing to get organized and that's why they're being more fussy than normal. Um, I feel that the there is a, a feeling of, um, I'm just going to get on with it. I'm just going to walk kind of, um, I'm going to walk sideways around this. I'm going to try and see if I can get away uh, with doing as little as possible, being around this situation as little as possible, um, because this is the way that, um, you know, you're going to feel better. Um, you know, it's like, then I can't get into trouble or I can't upset anybody um, if I do this. Okay. Um, towards the um, middle of the week, there's outspoken words, and I feel that this is linked um, with either a mother, a mother figure, a motherly energy. Um, it can be linked with a pregnancy or linked with, um, you know, children. Does that make sense? Because it's also, we've got the mother card. We've got the empress. We've got the speaking out, the outspoken words. And we've also got mischievous naughtiness. Um, so, so many different scenarios with this, with these uh, particular cards, okay? So, I'm going to go through all of them with you, all right? So, lots of different timelines going on. Um, so, motherly, um, so like I said, this can be fertility, it can be um, a work situation coming into uh, uh, fruition, and um, it's like everything is ripe and ready 
okay? Um, it can also be a mother, i.e. the empress. Um, it can be a, your mother, a motherly person, or someone who needs to be mothered. There's links with mischievousness and naughtiness. And that can be anything from um, a playful naughty to somebody being bad, okay, or a bad situation. Um, and you've then got this, which says outspoken words. It says that everything is coming out, um, that you can't hold it in, and that everybody's going to be having their say, and everyone's opinion is going to be right out there. So um, it does feel as if there's a lot of kind of raw emotions going on around the beginning of the week and the middle of the week. Okay. Um, now, by the end of the week, I'm hearing that you are closing your, putting your hands over your ears and saying, I don't want to know. I don't want to hear it anymore. Um, I'm going to run away from this situation. So it feels as if there's a drama on this side and drama on that side. And you are in the middle going, I can't take any more of this. I don't want to know. Um, there is a boredom energy. It's like I'm bored with this um, situation and something has to has to give and has, has to change. Okay, um, I can definitely feel um, a person who has been promising, promising one thing and not fulfilling that promise. So it's like um, you feel let down or you feel as though, you know, this, it could be that there's an impossible, um, an, an impossible task that you are supposed to do, but you can't. Um, it's like, I can't, I can't do that. Um, you know, I'm not, it's like being asked to be, have superpowers um, and try to please everybody and you won't be able to. Okay, that's kind of how I see this week going. Um, but it does feel as if there's an urgency um, and somebody trying to get things ready, um, either for visitors, get things ready for um, a party, get things ready, you know, and organized because it hasn't been, I don't know, it's, just, it's a lot of busy, busy, busy stuff going on. Okay, and it's like I'm seeing either a mother-in-law coming around to kind of help but causing more problems. Um, so anyway, good luck with that, Gemini's, sorry. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of drama. So, okay, so that's for Gemini's. So our last one is Libra, um, and this is my, my love. This is my Greg's Libra. It's also, he's a triple Libra, and I've got Libra rising. So is there any more Libra? Oh, Libra rising. You've I'm got Libra, Libra rising. rising. Yeah? Yeah. So this would be interesting. Oh, that one's so off. Oh, not that many. <laughs> Okay, so Libra, for the beginning of the week, your first card is what do you desire? Um, and what a beautiful picture. Right away I'm hearing um, you get to paint the canvas of your life. Um, so whatever it is in your chart that you may be releasing with this full moon eclipse, um, it's going to leave, it's going to leave room for you to uh, completely grab a new canvas and, and start painting what it, what it is you desire. So um, maybe do some meditation on what it is that your heart truly, truly desires to do. Um, I feel like it's gonna be something that uh, is, is 
kind of been in the back of your, um, kind of been pushed back for a long time, but it's deep in your heart. It's something that you've really always wanted to express in some way. I mean, actually could actually be painting. Um, uh, this this picture here is is obviously a painted picture, and it's it's beautiful. And that's exactly what I had. Was um, you get to paint the canvas of your life uh, after you release whatever it is that you'll be releasing, um, depending on your where this falls in your chart, the uh, full moon eclipse. And the middle of the week is uh, self esteem, uh, guardian angel Michael. And um, this is going with the theme of just about everybody's reading, everybody's reading. It's, it's everybody so far has been being um, reminded that they're, they're being divinely guided. Um, um, Archangel Michael is the protector. Um, so if there's any part of your life where you feel um, insecure or um, just a little bit in fear at all about anything, Maybe you're concerned about a loved one or, you know, you're concerned, you know, it could be any number of things, but um, what I'm hearing is call on Archangel Michael um, and, and you will, uh, he will not necessarily just as like protect you, but he will comfort you. Um, he's going to, he'll, he'll be guiding you and helping you with that fear there's you know any fear i feel like uh this card is representing some kind of concern or worry for someone in your immediate life in your immediate family or friends somebody that you're very concerned about and at the end of the week we have stag trust and thrive okay and um you see the gratitude symbols in there and that immediately tells me that uh, you've got uh, an enormous amount of abundance coming in and just having the gratitude for that. Um, trust that you're also being divinely guided. Um, trust your intuition too, I'm hearing. Trust your intuition. Um, there's, as Libras, and, and I can attest to this with a Libra rising, we tend to second guess a lot. Um, and I'm hearing don't second guess, um, trust your intuition. And then that's what I'm getting. That's all I'm getting for the Libra for this week. Thank you. Mm. So I would say I release is going to be one of those. It's yes. like that saying, isn't it? It's going to be very, very astute. Mm -hmm. um, I heard this wonderful, um, it was an affirmation, I suppose. Um, it was on, it was a JCK one and uh, Mark Atwood. And they had this lady on, um, she's, I can't remember her name, Dragon Lady, I think she said, her name was. And um, she said this, this affirmation, I release. And I painstakingly recorded it and wrote it all down. And some of it I resonated with highly and some of it I didn't. Um, she, she can't remember how she got this, um, this affirmation. She can't remember. Um, and I thought, well, well I, I'm going to rewrite it in, in my own words as to what I think. So I'm going to come on back on in a minute and do this. Um, but it is amazing um, in, and it really helps. And I think with the full moon this, um, the middle of this week, it will be perfect for everybody. It's basically saying you, you're releasing the old of everything, the old old things that, that don't honour you in this lifetime and that are no good for you. So I'm going to yeah. read that out. And um, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That, that'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I lost it and I've been looking for it and I've just found it. So, yeah, it's obviously meant to be. Okay, so um, so this is um, for, for Libras, for myself and for Greg and for anybody out there, okay, who's a Libra or has got Libra uh, in their chart. Okay, so...
beginning of the week. There's a sarcastic feeling around the beginning of the week. Um, you know where things aren't going right, so you're sarcastic about it. Um, you're trying to lighten the mood, so you're sarcastic about it. Um, there seems to be an issue with somebody in authority and you're sarcastic about it. Um, something to do with self-employment or to do with earnings and money and work and we're sarcastic about it. So everything is going to boil around um, this sarcasm energy, which is not a bad thing because sometimes that helps us rise above the situations and actually not make us um, take it all so seriously because I think sometimes we can get a little bit heavily um, bombarded with things. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of lighthearted energy, but I do see it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy in our work financial situations. Um, it's going to be busy with something to do with authority energy. Um, it's going to be busy with relationships um, and, and things like that. So um, there's going to be a lot going on at the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, we're still on the theme here of balance and trying to get the balance right. Um, and I'm seeing boundaries are going to be set up around you, uh, needing to be balanced, needing to make sure uh, that um, that everything in everything that you're doing has a, a positive a, a positive to it, and that you are honouring the fact that there there may be something that's not so good um, around this situation. It's, it's like saying, what is it I've learned? You know, um, yeah, that's been crap and I'm, I'm annoyed with this and I don't want to wait and I don't want to do this. Um, but it's like, but what have I learned? What has gone on? You know, at what point um, do I have to kind of like admit um, that, that things are as they are for a reason? And that's going to be a hard thing, okay, um, to get through. And I know that especially for, for Greg, because obviously when I'm reading this, I'm kind of thinking of um, my loved ones as you would be, um, your loved ones. Okay. Um, sometimes the boundaries are there to protect us. There seems to be a lot of, uh, you know, higher energy higher reasons as to what is going on in the bigger scheme of things okay and uh, you may not know about this until later on you know when you're kind of looking down at your life and doing an, and analyzing it and it's only then that you'll realize that thank goodness they were actually looking out for me I didn't realize um, you know if they had have gone ahead and did whatever or if, if my life had gone in that direction at that particular time um, you know, I know it would have gone very badly, um, but I didn't realise that at the time. Um, but there's going to be some realisations. I am seeing doctor's energy around um, as doctor, solicitor, bank manager, estate agent, interview for a job, something on an official basis, okay, um, that will be around you on the middle of um, next week. Um, standing your ground, don't back down. Um, you know, being very firm. Okay, um, so there seems to be um, something to do with either boredom or restlessness around you um, by the end of the week. It's like, I want things to, I want things to be sorted out or, I, you know, I'm ready now, I want this. Um, and there seems to be some changes in the house. Um, I'm seeing either DIY changes, organisation, uh, getting things ready, um, just seems to be kind of everything in its place. Um, they're talking also about being let down, feeling let down, feeling as though, you know, well, this isn't what I wanted or planned. Um, why is this not the way I'd wanted it to be planned? We just got out, I got wet again and come back in. No. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, it feels as if there is, um, yeah, things are upside down and I still feel things are on hold and I, I wish I didn't um, because I know that this isn't what <laughs> particularly Greg wants to hear in particular. 
or myself. Um, and uh, maybe for you Librans, you might understand this as well. Um, but there is a kind of feeling of boredom and restlessness and wanting um, things to change. Okay. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's what I see for um, the Libra. And, uh, and Mo just wants to just join in. <laughs> he likes that. That's why he's doing it. He's going out and getting wet so he can come in and get a massage from you. He does it all the time. <laughs> it, it, it just keep going outside and doing it again. Is it raining? Yeah. Do you know what they're mucking about with our weather? Yeah. Don't do that to the microphone, darling. That's a good boy. Yeah, that we it hasn't stopped raining and normally it would have been fine um, by now. The weather would have been quite nice. You know, we've had at least some days of quite nice. He's got wet feet yeah, walking had... all over my terracotta. Oh no. We haven't had any rain. <laughs> I think we're supposed to get some tomorrow though. It's gotten really dry here. Yeah. I'm having to hold on to my microphone because he keeps knocking it over because he's loving it so much. <laughs> yeah, dear. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and thank you, Sharon, thank you. Um, thank for you. Us here and I really this. enjoyed that. Oh, good. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Good. And I did the whole um, almost three hours in this chair and it didn't even hurt my back. So that's wow. good to know. I can, yeah. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. So if anybody would like a reading with with Sharon, um, you can message her and you've got my email address there. My PayPal email address is also how you can get in touch with me. Uh, you've also got my website there as well. Um, so if you wanted a reading. Um, feel free. So, um, um, by the way, the um, the hour a reading, the sixty minute reading for the price. Sorry, the the price of an hour for ninety minutes um, is the offer has now finished. I'm afraid, um, just to let you know that. Um, but um, there'll be other offers and stuff coming on later. But um, so that's it, I think. And I'll come back on in a minute. Um, once Mo's dried off, <laughs> I'll come back on and I'll do the uh, this uh, meditation for everybody. Mm. Oh, nice. It really is a life changer one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And Bye, everyone. Thank you, Ellie. Bye. Bye. Bye.